Oh no. Oh no. Oh what have I done? I'm scared. I now yeah. pronounce you married. You may now kiss. Yo. Oh my god. <gasps> oh! Uh, 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 hey, listen, back in Lil Guardsman, okay? You know that I came today to go and play. Uh, I'm not no kid. I don't play with toys. Uh, I'm about to go hard in this like it's a ploy. Yeah, a scheme. You know how I be. I am the real thing. I am not no meme. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm about to start this. I'm about to go and pull this apart. And, ah! That was decent. That was decent, I think. I don't know. Do you think it was decent? I don't know. <laughs> we are back in Little Guardsman, and hopefully we are finishing it today. If you see, um, I don't know, finale in the title or end or something like that, then you know that this is the last video. If you haven't watched the other parts, you definitely should, because this is a funny and interesting game. So let's get back into it. We're 75% done. This really could be the last episode. The last thing we did, it was wartime. Leading to the highest levels of brutality ever recorded. Ooh. The pointless bloodshed sure to scar the psyche of all those involved for years to come. Oh, oh no. Haunting words from one of the survivors of last night's charity bake sale at the oh, Garden wow. District Haven for the Elderly. And now news from the war. The battle what? For the Wait. Fruit Reserve Grotto was successful. <laughs> Were they saying that, that the bakery was horrifying? I have to report. And now more exclusive audio from what has been dubbed the Goodies for Geezers Bake Sale Massacre. What happened at the bake sale? <laughs> Whoa. What happened at that bake sale? Dang. It's my banana bread. Huh? What? What was that? Speak up. Hmm? I wish my grandson was here. What is going on? What is this radio sh Okay, you are, we're going to turn the radio off. I don't even know what that was. Hey, a letter arrived from Dad. Oh, nice. Oh, it's so sweet getting letters from Father. Dear Lil, oh! thanks for writing back. Your letter really made my day. Hearing you and everyone back home are doing so well uh -huh. made me sleep easy. So easy, in fact, that I missed the morning bugle and was late for roll call. Boy, was I in trouble. And because I wasn't there, I got stuck with mechanic duty for the next big battle. Is that good? That's a good thing, right? They say this time it'll be fought in the air. And it's my job to help repair the planes. Oh, don't boy. Tell anyone, but I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but your why grandfather should... on your mother's side was a master mechanic. Mother's side. Remember the words mother's side, not your side. Day. Yo, yo, this guy is going to, this guy is going to crash planes. If your wife doesn't find you, yo, handsome, he's not going to fix it right now. So I guess if I investigate each aircraft that comes my way, I'm sure I'll find something to fix and then help win the battle. Thanks, granddad. Oh boy, bro. He's going to forget to screw too. something in all the if way or something. Any would be airmen, make sure there isn't anything on their end that needs fixing first. Okay. Okay, what does Anyways, that mean? I better go. Draw me a line again, will ya? But this time, maybe don't write such good news. <laughs> if I get in trouble one more time, who knows what'll happen? Sincerely, Dad. Is that? I don't think that's how you spell sincerely, but okay. All right, Father. You know what? I'm glad you're so doing all right. Okay. I'll write him another letter tonight. Aw, that'll be so sweet. He better not die. I'm so serious. I am so freaking serious my spies have informed me that there was increasing dissatisfaction fostering dissent within the enemy's inner circle do with that information what you will in addition to the forces that were drafted the outcome of the last battle was also due to the state of our equipment pay extra attention to what our men women and creatures are marching into battle with although their proposal for addressing our little food shortage problem was rushed through council without their scrutiny or approval please extend my associate from catering corp every possible courtesy and don't trouble yourself too terribly with the nature of the plan. Nothing to see here, as they say. Guardsman Randy has been brought out of forced retirement to supervise our food stores. Welcome back, Randy. Yay, welcome back, Randy! I may have stolen a deck of tarot cards off of an old wandering nomad type woman. So far, everything I've predicted has come true. Now the old bag yelled something about a curse if the cards were overused. As I was running away, but I'm sure it's nothing. Look at me, I'm batting a thousand. I've got all the answers. Call me now. Malcolm, for, for, uh, Malcolm, fortune teller to the stars. Um. Okay, so he can tell the future now. 
All right, what do I have? I got nine right now. Okay. Let's do the x-ray. Two in the x-ray. The x-ray is so handy. I don't think I've ever used the whip and have it be actually useful. Truth spray. Metal detector. Decoder. And the whip. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Our loadout is great right now. Unhand me, you fools. I must be granted entry immediately. Who's this? Who's this? What? I come with a message for your queen of the sprawl. What? In her mercy, Praetor Cargan has sent me to offer terms of your immediate and unconditional surrender. Of our surrender? If you knew the Praetor, you would be shocked that she has extended this incredible generosity to your flabby, weak people. Okay, so, um... Why you gotta call us flabby and weak, though? Um, ouch. And yeah, I know who she is, remember? I told the princess not to marry her. Right. I'm feeling better about that choice by the... Yeah, they're kind of crazy. Yeah, um... Can I read the letter? I don't... Hmm. Can I whip her? What if I whipped her? Will she kill me? Here is the message I've been sent to deliver. Straight from the power hmm. of the mouth of Praetor Kargan. And what does that mean? What does that I'm mean? Sorry, but I don't understand what you just said, and therefore I abstain from making any decision. Right? Feh. Smoking like a true path. I don't even know what that means. Huh? Huh? A path. How to explain? A person who oh. speaks with words like a coward instead of answering with glorious combat. And what if I whipped yep, you? That's me. Path. Oh. What if I whipped you? And what if I whipped you? What if I whipped you? Well, yeah, well, yeah, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> Normally, I would laugh and yell kapla as I cut you in half for your insolence. Okay. But even I have grown weary of bloodshed. Okay. I wish to retire to the countryside, for it is better to be a ballerina in a garden than a gardener in a ballet. Okay. A what and a what? What? It is from Munsu's The Art of Dance. Huh? Required reading for all Marvog children. Here, take my ceremonial weapons, gatekeeper. What? May you never need to use them. Wait. So, I get... I just... What? I just got a sword? Uh... But I didn't even deny her. I don't... Wait. Dang it, should I have let them in? Maybe things could have improved through diplomacy. Dang it, I already messed up. Should I rewind? I need to do better, yeah. Dang it. I got her swords, though. That's kind of crazy. I'm not gonna whip her. What should I do, though? Should I make a call? Let me... Call uh, Ash. Terms of immediate and unconditional okay. surrender, is it? Hmm. Let them in, but make sure you know exactly what is on their mind. Okay, I'm gonna use the Your truth serum then. Keep your enemies close, and your friends so close you're practically kissing. Oh, okay. Is that what they say? I don't know if that's what they say. Sure is, and I should know. I have a lot of friends. Oh, With okay. With that philosophy, I'm not surprised. Well, okay, so I'm gonna use the truth serum then. That phone call actually helped. Okay, so let me do the truth serum. What what's actually on their on her mind? Oh, I hope that doesn't wasn't it is a waste. My intention to divulge battle plans I have been made privy to <gasps> to Queen Desdemona in exchange for food for <gasps> people. Oh, we are starving, and if the sprawl can help us, I will help you end this conflict. Whoa. Okay. Wow. So they're gonna they're gonna surrender. So wait. She's she's gonna help. She's gonna like betray the kingdom, like her kingdom. Very good, gatekeeper. I hope Ooh. that this exchange of food for my people, for information about huh? our military strategy, will help put an end to the bloodshed of this war she... and lead to much more glorious bloodshed in the future. Um. Wow. You just admitted everything. Weird thing to hope for, but hey, you do you. Yep, you do you. But you know what? Okay. Oh, okay, having heard their true intentions, you let them in. Now it's up to the queen and other people above your pay grade. 
Okay, that was better. That was better. I'm glad I redid that. I'm glad I redid that. Hello. Ahoy, child manning the gate. Ahoy. Hello. Adult in a basket. Um. Ah, I like your spirit. I am here to enlist in Her Majesty's Air Force. Yeah, I don't know about that, bro. Where's your balloon? Like, I get it. I know it's supposed to be a hot air balloon. Where's the balloon part? Once inflated, my grand contraption shall sail high above the clouds. Okay. First, I will destroy the enemy air force, and then it will take me no time at all to traverse the entire world at that altitude. Now, bro, how do you got missiles in there? Do you got, like, I don't know, some some uh, lasers? What do you got in there? How does this grand contraption of yours work anyway? Uh -huh. Inflated to almost bursting, this ball will carry me up into the sky, keeping myself inside this wicker basket aloft. Simple science. Now, how are you going to destroy them? Though? Missing some steps. Like, uh, like what? 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 I, 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 I first read about the floating ball machine in a book about a chap going around the world in 80 days. Uh -huh. Julie Goblin Vernon, I think his name was. Okay, okay, but like... This was many years ago, mind you. So I figure doing the same in 79 days should be a piece of cake. A new record, I'd wager. You're very ambitious. Very ambitious. in that floating death trap? How will you go to the bathroom? I never even thought about that. The wind and the rain shall be my bum paper. Okay. Yorg. Okay. Max. Now this imagine. A recipe for a gnarly rat. Imagine all of that dropping on someone from like below, and you're like, oh, it's bird poop. No, it's human. It's human. This is my heat source. Fire. You see, when I fill the balloon with hot air, it goes up. Boom. Science. Hmm. You can't just say boom science huh. and expect it to work. Do you actually think that tiny lighter is going to be strong enough to inflate a balloon that big? Right? Um, yes. Why? Do you have something more suitable? Wait, I can give him the blowtorch? Okay, but the thing is, here's the thing. Is this what I need the blowtorch for? Is this what I needed the blowtorch for? Maybe that's the whole reason why I need the blow the the, the um the blowtorch or something. Is this the whole reason I needed it? I guess let's just give it to him. Here, take this. I swiped it from a doe-eyed singing psychopath. Hey, maybe I will let him in. Is this gonna have an effect on the sprawl? Huzzah! Thank you, child. With this, I could okay. save the world in perhaps even seventy-six days, give or take. Oh, uh, got you. So wait, should I let him in? Maybe I should just let him in. You know what? I'm gonna let you in. I'm gonna let you in. I feel like now he has a sufficient uh, uh, fire source. Tally ho! Now I'll show those smug okay. at the Royal Academy okay. Club who doubted me. Yeah, you show With them. This new heat source. I shall sail high into the sky and into destiny itself. Now the only bon thing voyage. is, the only thing is, I just don't know. Um, I just don't know how he's gonna fight. But uh, you know, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe he'll throw tomatoes. What are you doing hey. here? remember you yeah he's the chef that really that cooked most people don't regardless i am here today on behalf of catering corp okay. regarding our services and food management okay we are prepared to oversee the appropriate distribution of the sprawls food rations up until the time when this war is resolved in favor of either side all righty very heroic of you to volunteer aid very 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 the proposed services rendered come with a detailed budget and a projected roi i don't even know what roi I don't know R R O I. They said something about the catering corp. Um, please extend my associate from catering corp every possible courtesy. Okay, every possible courtesy. So um, let me just. It has come to our attention okay. that the food rations are being severely mismanaged. Oh! If this trend is allowed to continue, the sprawl will be completely out of food in a week. Oh my goodness! Are you sure your numbers are correct? Oh no! Of course our numbers are correct. All we do is numbers. We eat, sleep, and breathe numbers. Oh! Now! Like you take this pretty now who was mismanaging the food? Really it was probably the old lady I let in! Cooking has nothing to do with it. This is all about cold, hard facts. Which coincidentally is the temperature and consistency of our food. See, I'm, I kind of regret choosing him for the wedding, but you know what? It's okay. Um. So what's the big plan to save our city? Yeah, what's the plan? Soylent beige nutrient bars. I don't know what that. Um. Means. 
That does not sound just delicious. Soylent beige is a high protein food stuff. Food stuff. Can I get a look at those documents? No, you've already used your action point. Uh, no. You don't even know what's on them, do you? Um. Of course I do. I drafted these plans myself. It's composed of intense. This guy just talks so boringly, you bro. Tell me if you wanted to, right? Ah. Uh, right. But I do not. This guy's so annoying. Okay, fine. I guess I'll do the rest of my job. Do you have any weapons or contraband on your person? Do you, bro? All certified members of Catering Corp uh, Incorporated are given a standard issue chef's knife TM. In fact, I am a certified trainer in the use and handling of a Catering Corp okay, Incorporated cool, standard cool, issue bro. chef's knife TM. Sorry about that. I hate to brag. Yeah, oh, man, I'm so jealous, bro. I don't think you did. I'm so jealous. Of, what if I confiscate it? What happens if I confiscate it? All right, pal. Hand over the butter knife. It's not a butter knife. It's okay. a standard issue chef's knife TM. Oh. I won't part with it. Oh, if fine. You in with it, then I won't be going in. Fine. Fine, keep it. All right, tough guy. Keep the butter knife. Fine, keep it. Keep it's it. not a butter knife. It's a standard issue chef's knife TM. All right, bro. I, I'm sure. I'm sure I could have sold that for a pretty penny at Garby shop, but it's okay. Well, sure, but. Like I said, keep the butter knife. Mm hmm. All right, I guess I'll just let you in. I said, I don't know. I don't know what else to say to him. He doesn't seem, he doesn't seem, um, um, like, I don't know. It's you like trouble. And do your best to help us with our food crisis. He doesn't really seem like there's any trouble or something. We at Catering Corp know that you and your general population are going to. Yep. Yep. Bye. Congratulations. You helped with the food shortage crisis. However, it comes at a terrible, terrible cost. But you helped with the food shortage crisis. Nice. I don't know what else I could have done with him. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm sure there wasn't that much to do with him. I need to see someone interesting. Oh, wow. He's interesting. What's the hold up? I figured most of you guardian defender types would be out fighting on the front lines. Let's oh. move it along. I got a goblin ball match to set up. Oh, you're the, the, the leader of it? Albert St. Lush, manager of the Sprawl Brawlers. Oh. Hey, um, you know what I'm going to do, though? I wonder if he has like anything on him, like like. I didn't think any more home games were being played this season. You know, because of hmm. the siege of the sprawl, the threat of invasion, and the ongoing war that could destroy us all. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me in, and I'll make sure we get one last game. Oh, oh okay. Tease. Boy, Mister, I'm sure glad that you've got your priorities straight. Right, Goblin Ball. Talking sense all of a sudden. I was being very sarcastic. I can't believe you didn't pick up on that. Bro's hair looks like Frankenstein. Not Frankenstein. Is it Frankenstein? Who's the one that has like the gray hair and stuff? Maybe it's not Frankenstein. I might be tripping. I think I'm tripping. I feel like I got to see what else he has on his person. Because I feel like they're... he might smuggle something in. What is that? Hello? What are these? Don't worry about it, kid. Tools of the trade. So Steroids? long as the players don't ask any questions about what they're getting, it's totally legit. What? The secret ingredient is pure basilisk venom. What? God, you think those b****s on the Milton Marauders ain't doping? Wow. Uh, we're confiscating? Well, there ain't no way I'm gonna win with these bums now. Well, that's too bad. We're gonna do this fair and square. We're doing this fair and square. Yeah. I'm not gonna let no no drugs get through. I don't care what it is. I don't care if you wanna win some All volleyball right, game. Kid, I knew you were a goblin ball. Fan. Or not volleyball, I'm put a a goblin team ball. Together from some of those losers defending the wall. See you at the match tonight. Okay. You do your thing, bro. Is that did I do right? Did I do good? Dang it! Why am I doing so bad, bro? I don't know what else to do. I took the stuff, but they need a morale boost, and you got an inside tip. Ah! Oh, oh! The goblin ball he organized will put a tremendous strain on the spread thin, but the people need a morale boost. You got inside. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh, I really hope that. I really hope it's not. Oh, Echo. hey, hey, dude. Echo. What's oh up? God. What a lame joke. Okay. What is? That your name is Echo and... Echo! Oh, 
go! Yeah, okay. Okay, bro, what you want? I hate myself. So, what do you want, bro? What do you want, Echo? And don't you dare say Echo again. He's probably gonna say it. All right, little sister. Chill out. <laughs> what are you doing here? The Mages Guild are okay. all gathering in the sprawl to discuss our place in the war effort. Okay. It's been a long time since we've all been summoned together like this. Ooh. The mages are up to something. I don't trust the mages. Hmm. Who summoned? Who summoned you? Yeah, who summoned you? The High Council of the Mages Guild summoned their membership okay. by sending a glowing green light into the sky. A sort of okay. signal that tells us we were all needed. Huh. I get it. The mage signal. Good thing you were looking up. You're hmm. telling me. So, I know he says he always tells the truth, so I can't use the truth serum on him. I don't know. Should I just keep asking questions? The reason I founded the Mages Guild was so that we wouldn't have to all gather together this way. Okay. It was a set of garden principles that all mages would adhere to. So if you knew a mage, you knew what to expect. Okay. Kept people from fearing us. Now it looks like some mages want people to fear us. Mm. It won't end well. Oh, okay. Um, how old? Guiding principles. That sounds to yeah. me like a good thing. A set of governing rules to make sure people feel safe. Right. Am I wrong? Right. I don't think you are, but darker forces in the guild sure do. Ooh. They think the rules are too strict. They want to use magic to control people. Oh wow! And eventually, the whole kingdom. That guy that was at the, the the planning table, he definitely wants to do that. If we don't stop him, there could be a rift in the guild itself with mages on both sides. It's getting pretty hairy. Ugh. That sounds kind of gross. So what should I do? Hmm. I mean... Um... Oh, I can call... Malcolm, I guess? Let me call Malcolm, I guess. I don't know. Let me consult the cards. Okay. Ah, the cloud of smoke. Uh huh. In honesty, it doesn't really matter what happens to this guy. Oh. He's just around to give us some backstory and lore. Oh, He's okay. Inconsequential as a leaf on the wind. Oh, all right. Okay. Thanks, Malcolm. Well, I didn't what? realize. What is that? Uh, a uh, thank you. I didn't realize that they it's really do just give you nobody's hints. Nobody's ever said that at me before. Um. Yes. It's good. Thank you. Ah, he never gets a thank you. Thank you. Uh Jessica? You don't know my name? Okay. Well, doesn't really matter what happens. Sam, we'll just let him in then. Thanks, Lil. I better get to the major still. But first, I may stop by the Twisted Sister and grab some grub. Man, have I got a case of the munchies. Rock on, little buddy. All right, bye. Bye, Echo. Let's go. All righty. I'm glad I didn't use any of my items. What is going on? Hello? Hello? What? Whoa, stand down, Peaches. It's all right. What is that, a dragon? I'm here for the draft. Well, me and Peaches. Huh? So, what is this? You can communicate with Peaches. Uh huh. What? She's really good at taking direction sometimes. I'm still getting the hang of it. This is crazy. That is so awesome. Wow. Yeah, you get used to it. It is a dragon. It comes with the territory when you're a dragon rider. So oh wait. Oh my god. Can I be you? That would be fun and scary. What should I do? I don't know. I mean, should I just ask her more questions? My dad says that it's unlikely that we'll be called into the fighting today as the enemy forces hmm. aren't really known for their air support. But I'm still really scared. So why are you joining? I ride peaches for fun. I'm no combat specialist. Uh, but I am here. Girl, you are a kid. This brawl needs me. Or, more accurately, if the sprawl needs peaches. If you're a kid, you should not go into war, bro. I'll feel bad if anything happens to you. Are you sure that you're actually prepared to go into battle? Yeah. I know I'm nowhere near as good a rider as my dad. And I feel like I'm missing something. What are you missing? <sighs> oh, well. I'm here and ready to go. What are you missing? Dang it. Um... 
This is a truth spray? What does she need? Me and Peaches are best friends. What do we need? My favorite thing to do is pick flowers in our secret meadow while she frolics <sighs> in the waterfall like a big fire-breathing dog. I, I wish I knew what she was missing. But I know she's 2300 pounds of flying death when she gets what? worked up. And I'm worried we haven't been training enough. And okay. And dinky little tin whistle won't cut through the chaos of battle. What? I wish I had something with a bit more kick. Maybe I've got something? Maybe I've got something that packs a bit more punch than your whistle. What do we got? Some of the older dragon riders use whips. Oh! It doesn't hurt them, but it sure gets their attention. I can give the bull whip? I've got one of those. Oh! Oh, yeah, I'll Look, give it. I don't even use it. Occasionally useful to me. Take it. Oh! I peaches will respond. Yeah, I don't even use it. I don't even use it. I literally well, never use thanks. it. Thanks. I feel much better with this. Yeah. I didn't even know you could give that. Lil will receive a replacement bullwhip in her next shift. Okay, cool. Cool. We did that. Oh, I'm so glad we're getting good. A good score for this one. All right, I thought we were gonna be done and, and never have the whip again. Forces. Really? Yep. Absolutely. You're let in. It's something about your character, your moxie, your. This is why dad, the dad, when he said in his in his letter, he said make sure there's something that they like to check if there's anything they need fixing before you enlist them. Giant intimidating dragon. Oh my goodness. And with this handy new whip you've given me. I'll be sure to send those bad guys running. Oh, yeah. If I saw a dragon in my way, I'd be out of there. Save the whip for the dragon, kid. Have fun in the war. Have fun. Bye. Excuse me. Attention. Whoa, whoa, Second whoa. Wilbur Caboose whoa, whoa. For duty. Bro's name is Caboose? I don't know what's worse, butt face or Caboose. These goblins got disgusting names, bro. I feel bad for them. What, what was up with their parents? Their parents didn't love them. Their parents saw them and said, oh... You know what? I'm gonna name you Caboose. Oh, look at my little Caboose. What in the world? I mean, he does have quite the quite a, a, a juicy Caboose. But anyways, we're leaving that alone. Are you talking to me? Ma'am, yes, ma'am. <gasps> we have come from the training grounds of the GLA with the finest triplane Yo. that Goblin Engineering has to offer. And I am reporting for duty to join Her Majesty's Royal Air Force. Yo, he doesn't even talk looking straight at you. He turns around. Like an Instagram model posing and look like this, you know, making sure you can see the, all the caboose. <laughs> like, yo, yo. Is that your plane? Yeah, what's up with your plane, bro? Yes, ma'am. Indeed it is. A sop with gobble of primo make and model. As uh -huh. I said, the finest that Goblin Engineering has to offer. Would you like to know her name? It's probably Caboose. Sure. What's her name? I call her the Green Baron. It's not green. Huh. Why it's not green? I don't know much about planes, but that one kind of looks like a lemon. It's old. I oh, you the green baron is no lemon. Hmm. In fact, I'd say it's lemonade. Okay. I'm not sure if that's better. So, what is he missing here? I've been flying the green baron for years now. Earned my wings under King Oswin himself. Okay, cool. That was back when you didn't see a whole lot of goblins in the air. I spent a ton on human-colored makeup. But you're short. Why would they even think you're a goblin? I mean, you're a it's human. What's inside that counts? <laughs> Wink. Hehe. <laughs> Wink. Um. Okay, fine. What's inside? What is inside? That's where the goblin engineering really gets to shine. I'm not at liberty to say exactly what it is, but rest assured, it will blow those away. Haha. <laughs> Why is it called blow? What? You're describing a bomb. Is there a bomb in there? Is there? Let's see. There's a bomb. Ah, yes, oh wow! That is the finishing touch. Julian down at the GLA equipped the plane with it this morning. Oh wow! I don't think he was an engineer, just an enthusiastic volunteer. She's okay. a large bomb we call the inside the park home run. Inside the park home run. Okay. It's really heavy. How does the plane fly with yeah, it? Yeah, how is it flying with it? Well, I haven't tried flying with it yet. Oh! Just taxiing along the runway at a sensible speed. But there's plenty of space for it to roll around back there with all those loose um, tanks of fuel and barrels of gunpowder. Wait. Yeah, you no! No way! The Green Baron is complete once again. 
No, no, well, no. Uh, be careful with that. I wouldn't want you to roll her through the streets with this inside the park home. I meant run. to confiscate it. End up inside the park and you know, kablooey. Oh, I, I so meant to confiscate. No, no, no. Julian assured me it was up to his safety standards. No. I meant to confiscate it. No! I'm just not gonna let him in. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, flyboy, but you're grounded. I'm, I'm not sorry. gonna draft you today. I'm sorry. Was it because of the bomb? Yes, because he said he was rolling around with it near like, like fire tanks and stuff like that. It will blow up the whole city. Yes. That's fair. Julian was pretty drunk when he loaded it onto the plane. Wow. All right, second Lieutenant Wilbur Caboose Oval is going home. Disappointing. Be careful with that bomb, bro. Okay, I hope that was okay. Oh, I can't even redo that choice. I meant to confiscate it. I'm... Oh, I have to answer the phone. Go for Lil. Go for Lil. Lil, Chuck here. Oh. I need you to get your butt down to the Goblin Liberation Army headquarters as soon as you can. Okay. What's up? What's up, Chuck? My wife, the princess. Uh, uh, oh. Oh. Still not used to that. Okay. She has me deploying various non-human agents, groups, and creatures to help with the war effort. And we've discovered a mole. Oh, there's a there's a traitor like up a in here? Mole. Not like a mole person. Well, I guess it could be a mole person. Yo! I'm really not sure at this point. So I have to what? Interrogate them? Down to the GLA headquarters and help me sort this out. Okay. Be right I'll there. Be there as soon as I'm done my shift. Okay. Thanks, Lil. I'm sure you can help us identify. Oh, the this is a this is an important task. Sounds like something I'd be expected to do. Okay. Please tell me my score is good. Oh. Oh, I barely did okay. I barely did okay. Like I did good there. I did terrible with him. Terrible with him. Good with him. And good with. Oh, that's it. Yeah, I I barely made that, yo. I barely got through that. Okay, so. GLA headquarters, let's go! The Goblin Liberation Army! Yeah! Free the goblins! Lil, thanks for coming. Are you ready to help us whack a mole? <laughs> I get this it! So far. Yesterday, we captured okay. an enemy spy who confessed that they were meeting with their informant, who is part of the GLA. Ooh. But before we could get a name out of them, oh. the spy chomped down on a poison tooth. Oh, we man. Gathered six suspects. One of them is definitely the traitor. But so far, they're all sticking to their stories. Okay, I gotta really listen hard. Shoot spray? Couldn't you just get a mage to put a spell on them? Or better yet, I could go get some truth spray from the hmm. shed and be done with this in a flash. True. Good thinking. But the guilty party could have built oh. up a tolerance to truth sprays. Or be in league with a corrupted wizard from okay. the guild. Your deduction okay. skills are the only method we can truly trust. Okay, I gotta and do. You can help us out. Oh, I gotta really well, think. I have done this once before, but it was a low-stake situation with my little friends. Eh, I oh. guess I'll see what I can figure she out. She low-key disrespected them my, with my little friends. I mean, I don't even like her friends, low-key. Interact with each of them twice. Hmm. They'll just repeat their stories after that. Okay. See if you can detect any inconsistencies about their whereabouts last night. Okay. And catch them at a lie. All right, I can do this. I can do this. Oh my goodness, how many of them? How many is there? Okay, let's start with you. Last night, I was here with Chuck organizing okay. flyers. Okay, listen, listen closely. Rally. You can ask him yourself. Chuck. But if you're looking for a mole, look to my left. Okay. They're literally a mole. What more could you ask for? Okay. So, organizing flyers for the war rally. He was with Chuck. Organizing flyers for the war rally. Okay. Chuck will vouch for me. I was here. I've got brawler season okay. tickets, so some nights I'm at the arena. But last night they were playing out of town. Okay. As to who the traitor uh, is, I don't know what else to tell you. Don't overthink it. They're a freaking mole okay. person. You're looking for a mole. Come on. Okay. 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 I get it. I get it. Okay. Now I'm gonna talk to you. Listen. I know everyone's gonna think it was me because I'm Don't a worry, man. Mole. I'm gonna listen to you. I'm gonna give you a I was chance. I was at a bar in Little Ogre Town watching the Goblin Ball game. I swear. Okay. I never miss a game. Okay. Even when they're out of town, like they were last night. Okay. All right. What else? What else you got to I say? I honestly have no idea who the traitor is, but all I know is that it's not me. All right. Ask anyone who works at the bar in Little Ogre Town. They'll remember me. I'm a really bad tipper. Why you gotta admit that? That's nothing to be proud of. I was 
at a friend's house. Okay. Uh, a friend who was out of town. I was at their house while they were out of town. Hmm. They asked me to water their plants while they were out of town. It's the truth. You sound suspicious. You sound suspicious. It was, it was, all right, fine, you caught me. I okay. didn't go to a friend's house to water their plants. I was out of oh. the date with a human I met last week. No talks like that. It has your coffee. Plus, I still feel weird talking about it. But the date went great. You know what? Good for you. Good for you. Go on that date. I know where I was last night. Okay. I was at the big game happening downtown. But what? I'm more concerned about the big guy to my right. Wait, wait, wait. At the game that was happening downtown. Everybody's saying the game was out of town. You ever met a troll you liked or even trusted? It's him. Something seems fishy about his story, if you ask me. It's you. I told you I was at the Goblin Ball Arena last night. Shaking I lived around my the head. Far from the stadium, so after the match, I went straight home. No funny business. Everybody's. I'd ask that elf. Hard to trust those uptight, pointy-eared snobs. It was definitely him. Everybody said that the Goblin Ball game I was, was not. Quietly meditating in my chambers last Yeah. Week. The degrading acts of skulking and shadows you're picturing are obviously more in line with a creature half the honor of an elf. Huh? Someone like a halfling, perhaps? Okay, fine. Sheesh. What about you? Last night, I was attending my sister-in-law's cousin's nephew's birthday party. It was quiet down by the Goblin See? Ball See? Arena, See? With See? being an away game and all, so I didn't see anyone on my way home. Exactly! I don't know why anyone would suspect me. I have a leftover apple tart in my freezer to prove it. I already know who it is. I already so know who it is. Who is it? Who is the traitor? Y'all couldn't just y'all couldn't decide this for I yourself. Think it was. It was you. Bro. Oh, I didn't even tell, talk to you. It was definitely you. Yes. It was definitely you. Cyclops. Yeah, bro. What? Why me? Uh huh. Because you claimed you went to the goblin uh -huh. match last night, but the brawlers played an away game. You're clearly lying. Facts. Very clever little girl, but it's no Whoa. matter. You and your oh! kingdom will burn, and out of the ashes a new glorious nation shall be born. Stop talking, stop talking, stop talking. Take them away, Carl. Take them away. Yeah! Now, I don't know how they took him away because, like, bro looks buff. Like, I don't think you could drag him away. I feel like he could punch everybody's lights out. Oh, just one more thing before I go. Uh huh. Yes? I got nothing. I just always wanted to say that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Where can we go? The boring ditch with the chairs. It has washrooms. Can I place a bet? Hmm. Let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. Oh, boy. Well, I got a team together somehow. Uh... I didn't get to give them any of the uh, secret sauce. So I've just got to cross my fingers here. Oh, okay. Yeah, so let me, let me, let me, let me. Why are you hiding, bro? I want to place a bet on another one. Hiding behind that tree? It's me, Fredo. Here to facilitate all of your illegal gambling needs. Why are you hiding? I thought you were banned. He was banned? I was, but I figure I can run faster than that ogre. That wow. So it's a gamble I'm willing to take. That's crazy. Okay. I'm going to place a bet. Here um, are the teams at play, kiddo. Which one do you want to hear about? I'm going to place a bet on the Barracudas because... This team is made up of extremely elderly oh. former Goblin Ball superstars. Oh. Their fundamentals are unmatched, but most of them are quite hard of hearing. Can't hear the captain call plays, and it gets a little, shall we say, chaotic out there. So they're elderly? Their star front man on the tube slide is one to watch because he tends to wander off, and we don't want him to get lost. So I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do 10. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, kid. Your bet is in. Good luck. Hopefully. Hopefully, I don't mess this up. Hopefully, I don't mess Let's this up. Let's watch some goblin ball. Please, 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 please. I don't know if I can really call what we okay. see today goblin ball. Whoever rustled this motley crew of sprawl men, women, Sheesh. and creatures should be slapped in the mouth. Dang. Not to mention the Baron Keela Barracudas. Their star Whoa. on the tube slide is playing like he had a stroke. Maybe he did. What? What's that? Yo. I've just been alerted that the Barracuda uh. star frontsman on the tube slide has suffered a massive stroke. Uh. I feel terrible. Now, back to our live coverage. Oh, shoot. Although these new brawlers.
Kamala's have struggled valiantly. Oh no. Barracudas have a slight lead. Oh boy. Okay, come on, come on. The final triple hopscotch. Please, please. Number 12 heads into the straightaway. Hops and oh, that's too bad. What? 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 Only managed the double hopscotch and the sprawl brawlers. Nice. Kila Barracudas. Well, isn't that just a kick in the teeth? I just made. I just made 10 uh uh, uh gold coins. Give me my money. Lucky Run me up. Yes, kid. Come back next time for all your illegal gambling needs. Yeah. Just ask for Fredo. Will do. Yeah, we made some money. Bro, do you have any other customers? Like any other customers? Will, how are you holding up? I'm doing okay, bro. Not too many game overs today, Garbs. Yeah. I'm not really. I love sure how they break means, the fourth wall. Maybe I've got something for it. Let's see what we gonna do, what we gonna buy, uh, how we gonna be, uh, oh, let's sell this, yeah, yeah, hey, ha, huh, ha, huh. yeah, what else should I buy, I'm about to go and see that guy, uh, this hair is looking kinda fly, uh, yeah, he's about to go and cry like rain that's falling, falling from the sky, uh, <clears throat> I don't know what to do. Let's just buy another power ring, I mean, not power ring, power crystal. Oh, hi. Back home after a long day's work? Absolutely, you worked that nine to five. What a laugh. You, a working stiff. It's a riot. Hey, Arda, you Oh, yeah, let's write a letter. I want to send my dad another letter. So... Oh, sure. Here you go. So, what should we say? I really want to cheer dad up. What kind of joke should I tell him? Ooh, okay. We are not writing our dad a dirty joke. Lil will write a letter that includes a really, really good joke. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Your choice will have an effect on the sprawl. Because I told a good joke? Man, I must be a comedian. Thanks, Arda. Uh, can you send it for me? Aw. I know how much your dad loves to hear from you. Aw. All right. Oh, let's go over here. Let's go over here. I want to see. Is there anybody here? Okay. Oh, is this the one he's the human he's dating? Is the human you're dating? Oh, this is so weird being out with you. Oh, oh, what a cutie. Aww, honey, it's what's on the inside that matters. Oh, embarrassed to be seen with you. Embarrassed to be seen with me. I'm worried someone's going to see me with a human and tell my mother. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, brother. That's Him hilarious. Too. That's funny. He's like, oh, nah, I'm embarrassed to be out with you, babe. Marva Envoy Mayala made a life for herself in the sprawl and set up shops selling weapons, cooking tools, and other sharp things. She couldn't be happy. Wait, she's living here now? The queen was able to use the top secret battle plans to show up the sprawl's defenses, which made a huge difference, at, at least for a few days. She betrayed her kingdom. That's crazy. After entering the sprawl, the catering corps rep went straight to work distributing the food supplement bar known as Soylent Beige. They were an instant hit? People lined up for blocks, crowding the stores with fistfights and even riots. What? Make room, make room, they yell. No one would listen. They wanted a taste of the dense but nutritious Soylent Beige bars. What? People were crazy. People were crazy about Soylent Beige for their amazing flavor, but no one could puzzle out the secret ingredient. Everyone agreed about the warm, nostalgic sensation. Like they were eating their own grandparents' cooking. An official rep from the company would later explain that if they were to just remove the word cooking from that previous sentence, they would have discovered the secret ingredient, their own grand... Guys, they were eating their grandparents. They were eating old people. They're cooking old people. He's cooking humans. They're cooking humans. When word reached Lieutenant Stryker that a recruits were being drafted into the Sprawl Brawlers for an illegal game, she hit the roof. When her guardsmen turned ball players were questioned, they named Albert St. Lush as the ringleader. After a record-breakingly brief trial in which the defendant attempted to bribe the judge, the lead prosecutor, half the jury, and the court stenographer, Albert St. Lush was found guilty of conspiring to weaken the Sprawl's wartime defenses with an illegal goblin match. In prison, Albert was confronted by a former player who was busted on steroid charges and was pummeled to death to the great amusement of the other prisoners. Oh, he did. Oh, wow. Echo arrived at the guild hall just in time to speak out against Tyronius and his plan to demand greatly increased powers for the mages from the queen. Echo successfully argued that the guild should use its power to support the city council and guard corps and help the people the war was hurting instead. Due to Echo's timely intervention, Tyronius did not get the two-third majority vote that he needed. Ooh. He and his followers loudly insisted that the election was stolen, and Tyronius vowed to use his own power to stop this war by any means necessary. 
his people formed a radical group that dubbed itself the Freedom Caucus, and they soon vacated the guild hall in a huff. Echo breathed a sigh of relief at a job well done. He took a trip to his favorite haunt, the Sprawl's premier bowling alley pinheads. It was a pretty righteous way to end the day. Correctly identified as being the traitor, the guilty Cyclops was loaded into a catapult and flung at a brick wall the next morning. What? That is so cruel. There was much rejoicing. The Sprawl and his secrets were now safe thanks to your masterful detective work. This is brutal, y'all. This game is so brutal. Uh-oh, another war. Uh-oh, uh-oh. 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 Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay, we won. We did it. We did it. We did it. Woo! We did it. It was her dragon, low-key. I'm telling you, it was her dragon. As the dawn sun rose, it was clear that the sprawl had triumphed. The smoke slowly cleared from the patch of sky where the battle between the clouds had been fought. It was later said that one of the clouds was shaped like a short giraffe, and the other one looked like a bowl of fruit. Using the blowtorch you gave him, Professor Fogg inflated his contraption and rose high into the sky. From his basket, he wrought havoc upon the enemy, even flinging his poops at the enemy vessels from above? The aging academic patted himself on the back for a job well done. Bro, ain't no way! The little Primaris dragon rider commanding her dragon peaches using the bullwhip you loaned her burned through the enemy's defenses. When they got home from the battle, her father was so proud. He vowed right then and there to leave her in charge more often so he could continue to go down to the pub and bet on Goblin Ball. He sent his daughter out there? She's just like us for real! While returning his plane to GLA headquarters, the, the inside the park home run bomb sitting in the Green Baron's hold accidentally detonated. Fortunately, he was nowhere near any public spaces at the time, and there were no reported casualties. Wilbur Caboose Orville suffered a second-degree burn on his ample, some might say juicy, posterior. He must wear a butt cast for three months, which he claims grants him further cushion for the push-in. Wow. Level 10. We only have three more levels, y'all. Happy St. Swithin's Day to all our listeners. St. Swithin's Day. At the parade where St. Swithin himself is that like, like St. Patrick's Day? Any minute now. Oh, I think I see him. Yes, there he is riding merrily atop okay. his rain cloud, throwing many barometers. Barometers? To What's a barometer? Just a reminder, because of the parade's extensive and convoluted route, many stores and services will be closed today. Okay. We'll what? now take the traditional Ooh. 267 minutes of bagpipes huh? in honor of St. Swithin's Day. What? Oh. You know what? That's some nice music to wake up to. I'm not gonna lie. Bagpipe music could low-key hit. Uh, where's your green? You gotta wear green. It's St. Swithin's Day. Huh. I guess there's no letter from Dad today because of the holiday. I hope he's doing okay. Oh, I really hope he's okay. I really hope he's okay. The rats, bro. The rats. It's constantly rats. Oh. Oh, my friend. Well, my quote-unquote friend. Come on! Give it back already! Give what back? Stop saying that! Oh, yeah, I totally All understand right, what he's saying. break it up, you two. Lil, what are you doing here? I live here. I live here. What are you doing here? I work here. I oh. got a job getting rid of the rats. Oh, well, you do your There's thing, bro. a lot of rats in here, Lamont. Yeah, you do your thing. I'm not very good at it. These rats are pretty smart. This one stole a crystal. Oh, that I found. no, let me let me get that crystal real quick. Oh, I found it. Ugh. Will, can you talk to him or something? I don't really like you, so maybe I don't want to talk to him. Fine, I'll reason with it, but this I want the crystal. It's not the sharpest tool in the shed. Dang. We're not in a shed. Okay. Point proven. Can you, <laughs> you know, being the more yeah. intelligent creature, just give in and let him have his crystal? The rat looks up at you as if it has completely understood every word. It moves, revealing a mage-grade crystal. Hey, he gave it back! Thanks, Lil. Now, All right. you, get out of here! Can, can I have okay, it? Geez. Can I have it? I have to go to work anyways. This guy is- No, not you. The rat. Can you tell Isla and Simon that I won't be able to meet up with them? Uh -huh. I have to clear all these rats before this place opens tonight. Uh-huh. You might as well take this crystal. Hey! Thank you! I appreciate it. Um, oh, I have to tell them? Where's, I was supposed where's to Isla? Her at Councilwoman Asher's office. Okay. 
Where's Simon? I was supposed to meet him down by the docks. Okay, why? That's so random. I don't okay. need luck. I need a foolproof way to get rid of these rats. Yeah, just, just work hard, bro. I have a hard job, too. You guys are making... You are making fun of me for having a job, and now you got a job. Yeah, yeah, you got a job, and suddenly I can't make fun of you? Rat boy? Yeah. There's a note. Garby's Emporium of Wonder will be closed in honor of St. Swithin's Day. Feel free to take your business to some other establishment in town. Oh, wait, there isn't one. I'm the only shop you got. I have you people in a capitalist chokehold. <laughs> Store will be open tomorrow at 9 a.m. If this is Lil, I saw your hooligan friends when I wrote this note. And they've got a shift's worth of crystals if you can track them down. Ooh. Ooh. Ew. So let me go to let me go to Simon and Isla. I need to get I need I need to uh let me let me let me go ahead and get those crystals. Uh, let me go ahead and get those crystals. You know? Oh, I love this. I love this song. Lil? How unexpected. Yeah, what are you doing here? Are you related to, to what's it called? Does Ash's assistant Travis know you're in here? Yeah. Oh, he knows. And he's not happy about it. Wait, they all Apple have jobs Ash now? took me on as her new unpaid intern. Wait, they My all have jobs now, and y'all were making fun of me! The youth politician training program for two-faced cutthroats and liars, or the YPTPTFCL. She says it'll help build character. See, the fact that your mom is putting you in a two-faced cutthroat liars program... That makes sense because you are also a liar just a few episodes ago. Yeah, I didn't forget. I didn't forget. Well, actually, was she lying? I don't know if she was lying. Maybe, no, actually, it was someone else who was lying. But you are cutthroat. I don't know. I just don't I like her friends. I'm here because I'm supposed to tell you that Lamont won't be able to meet up later. He's, uh, stuck at the office. Yeah. Oh, that hardworking lug. He'll uh, be the perfect trophy husband for me. He's so distractingly handsome that it'll both yo. impress and intimidate my opponents. Yeah, okay. I don't know about that. Well, Rose cleaning well, rats. Let me know if there's anything but okay. I can do to help you with that. Now that you mention Oh, I'm doing errands for y'all. Oh, crap. I, I feel like that y'all just want me to do stuff for y'all. YPTPTFCL does have an entrance exam that I could use your help with. Okay. Okay, what do I have to do? What I have to do? There are a couple of questions about current and historical affairs oh. that I still need to answer. Here we go. Oh, I, I don't know the answer. What was the name of the late King Oswin's father? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yo, I was not paying attention to that. Artemis? Okay, question two. Okay. What is the current name of the Goblin Ball Stadium? The boring ditch with chairs. It has washrooms. Yeah. Great. Okay. Question three. The crown prince of Petrard, Phineas Pomp. Oh, boy. Is the son of... The son of... Yeah, King Phineas and Queen Buttermilk. I, I'm pretty and sure. last one. Mega rock superstar Vlad... I should have been paying attention when people were just kind of yapping. Um, a loot, right? I think he plays like a loot. I think. Actually, looking over all these questions, okay, I'm pretty sure all these answers. Oh, am I right? right? I'm a shoe in for acceptance now. Here, Garby actually gave me two of these. Yes, sir. I got so much. I got so much crystals. Um. Oh, where did he say? Down by the docks. Oh, I never been to the docks. I never been to the docks. New area? Wow, this is new. Wow. Oh, no. They live in tents? That's sad. Oh. He has a hat. You like your hat? Mr. Fantastico. I haven't seen you around for a bit. Yeah, I haven't seen you, bro. My journey for the most fantastic hat took me to the countryside. Oh. Where I was drafted into the war. Oh. That's well, tough. that sucks. But you're back now. Does that mean my dad is back too? Is he? Unfortunately, your father remains at the front lines. I, oh. however, got sent home for wearing too many fantastic hats. Yo, that's tough. Apparently, it was alerting the enemy to our presence. <laughs> well, yeah, that I'm is pretty um, and that you got to obvious. Try on some fantastic hats. 
Mm. But they were not fantastic enough. Okay. My journey, it continues. All right, bro. This is not also fantastic enough. It matches your outfit. To you. Oh, a letter. A letter from Dad. Nice. Dear Lil. Hey. Thanks for your last letter. I really enjoyed reading and especially that joke you told. I told Aww. it to a couple of guys who told it to a couple of other guys who then told it to the captain herself. And they uh -huh. all agreed I wouldn't be allowed to tell jokes anymore. Oh no, that's sad. I hope everyone at home <laughs> the joke was bad. Well. I forgot that before I left for the war, I owed my bookie some money. Okay. I put 30 gold in this envelope so you can pay him back for me. Uh -huh. His name is Fredo. Your bookie, you mean the person that you are gambling with? This war is tough, but they say there will be a ceasefire on St. Swithin's Day. So that's Aww. something to look forward to. But what's really keeping me going through the darkest moments is the thought of getting back to you. This is so sweet. You, Please write back soon. Aww. Love, Dad. Aww. I better write back to him. Hey, Mr. Capello, do you have pen and paper on you? So fantastic or otherwise? Of course, child. So sweet, Dad bro. Dad got a little mushy at the end of that last one. How should I respond? Hmm. Right, mushy letter. Uh, I don't know. If I play it tough, will he be sad that, like, I don't care about him? But if I write mushy, I feel like the dad's gonna cry. Let's play it tough. Um, Lil will write a letter that suggests everything is going great in order to make her father feel better. Are you sure? Yes. I mean, everything is going great. Everything is going great. What's going wrong? What's going wrong? Watch me say hey, that and Capella, something goes wrong. Do you think you could mail this letter for me, fantastically or otherwise? Mm-hmm. Of course, child. I will search for a stamp for your letter that mm -hmm. is so fantastic that it stops the postman in his tracks and makes him cry to the heavens. Wow! Now that is one fantastic stamp. Please don't take a long time. Or, you know, whatever's the cheapest. Yeah. Okay, I'm not giving you any money. Eh, I'm taking that 30. Eh, eh. Step right up, folks, and take your turn at being a winner. Okay. Find the queen and uncover a royal prize. How about you, young lady? Care to be a winner? Sure, I am a winner. Hi, I'm always a winner. Hey, Lil. Lamont says he's stuck at work and won't be able to meet up with you. Hey, Uncle um, Rito, she's me. Uncle? What do I do? Uncle? Oh, Just they're related. Play it cool and act like you've never seen her before. Yo, they're so like he's Sorry, like, ma'am, who I'm gonna ask. He's like trading. He's before. training him. Uh, would you care to play a game that's almost guaranteed to make you a winner? He's he's teaching him how to get people to gamble. Are Shady you gambling. On me, Simon. Exactly. He's teaching him to be a con man. Uncle Fredo. Never admit you're running a con. <laughs> Yo. I've got something for Garby for you. But I can't just give them to you. Yeah. To play for them. Okay. All right. I know you got. I know you got it. I'm gonna play it. I'm gonna play. All right. What's the hustle? Yeah. Let me see. It's not a scam at all, man. All you need to do is find the queen. This better not be a scam, bro. Let me see. Okay. She's one of the three cards you see in front of you. Just keep your eye on the prize. Okay. Focus. Oh. Oh. Oh, I lost it. Where's the queen? Here? Oh! You didn't win the jackpot, but here's a consolation prize. Oh! There's no consolation oh, prize I still in got the con game? I still got it! Since I'm stuck here, could you be a pal and make sure Isla knows about Lamont not showing up? She's gonna be crushed. I already let her know, bro. Can I play again? Can I play again? Wanna play again? This time it'll cost you 10 gold. Oh! No thanks. No thanks, bro. Oh, wait, am I doing a night shift? Oh, another night shift. Okay, so we have the force entities, the ghosts. No such thing. Werewolves, mole people. Okay, vampires, which, okay. Yeah, we're good. Ugh, night shift. I hate the night shift. Okay, we're gonna do the x-ray. I have so many of the, the tools. Okay, let's do the whip too. I'm scared. And then let's do this. Yeah, we filled everything up. Cool. The music's kind of hitting too. Who is this? Why, hello, my dear. I'm just coming home from a long night tending the apple orchards. Okay, okay. It's almost harvest. Okay. And it couldn't come at a better time with the food shortage. I'm scared. 
Will you let me pass? Okay. Um, okay, 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 okay. Apples. She's not a zombie. Which witch? It's it is possible to encounter one. They're often indistinguishable from regular folk. There are tests that can be done to confirm whether they are or are not a witch. For example, if the suspected witch weighs the same as a duck, it confirms they are made of wood and therefore a witch. In practical terms, witches are not so different. However, beware ulterior motives. They often have a plan on the go and their moral compasses have a tendency to be well differently calibrated. Hmm. I feel like it's a... What? Can I let... I got the first apples of what looks to be a I don't know. fruitful harvest. I'm scared. <laughs> Just a little godly humor, dear. I'm scared. I'm using them to make a delicious pie. Okay. It's my absolute favorite recipe. I don't know if I want to eat that pie. Favorite cookbook. See? Okay. Okay. Doubt? I don't see how it could be a fruitful harvest this year. Yeah. There's a war raging outside our world. Right? That can't have a positive impact on the orchards. Yeah, all the dust and bombs no, and smoke. Yeah, you're right. The orchards were a bit sad. But still, a few good apples, uh -huh. and we should be able to make pies for every grown-up in the sprawl. Hmm, I don't know if I trust her. What? You know what, ma'am? What's inside that basket? Oh, it's just an apple. Was just one apple? I'll share a secret with okay. you. Okay. This is no ordinary apple. It's mm. a magic wishing apple. Okay. Wishing apple? Yes. One bite and all your wishes mm. come true. Would you like to take it? I kind of want to take it. Sure. sure. Give me the apple. I don't know. Should I trust her or no? All right, dear. But don't eat it until you... Until I what? Oh! Huh? Oh, dear. Night, night, my darling. Upon eating the bewitched apple, Lil lost consciousness and died? I feel like I shouldn't let you out, man. I don't mean to be I don't rude, know. but are you a witch? Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, my dear, it's not rude at all. Of course I'm hmm. a witch. It would be rather I'm struggling. being out all alone if I wasn't a witch, wouldn't it? I guess. Most people just assume I'm a witch. But it's nice to be asked. Ah, oh, well, you know what? I'm glad I asked, I guess. Uh, uh trust. Cool. I've never met a witch before. Okay, I just don't How know. You? I wouldn't be so sure. She's you scary. You've known a witch all your life and just not known it. But what are you trying to do here? Can I call? I don't know. Let me call someone. I'm gonna call Striker. May well seem harmless enough, but I would encourage you to make uh, sure I feel like the fact that she had I like the fact that she had a bewitched apple. I'm gonna jail her. Cause I I don't know. I feel like she's trying to give that apple to somebody. Like I know that she has the apple. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog too. Oh. What? I don't have a dog. She's Thank definitely you. after someone. She she's definitely oh. after someone. Oh, well then I guess I'll just have to make you one. What? <laughs> what? Transformed into a small terrier, you were unable to continue your work as a castle guardsman, so I can't put her in jail. Yo. Oh, what? Do I just need to let her in? She's she's clearly evil. So don't take the apple. What is what is she trying to do here? I'll sh wishing it. Yeah, we're not eating it. Return. No, they. What a clever little girl you are. Yo. So we can't put her in jail. Um. I've got the first apples of what. I okay. Uh, tease. This book is falling apart. It's like a thousand years old. Older than um, that. And I should know. I wrote it myself. Oh, she's old. You know what? I'm gonna just let her in. I'm not trying to be turned into another dog or something. I'm gonna just let her in, man. I really, really, really don't Why, want her to kill dear. me. I'll be on my way. 
But first, here. For your trouble. What? Whoa. Is that gold? Is it? I wish. Oh. Ha. No, my dear. They are candies. It's like those grandma I candies that, you know, your grandmother always carries. Your blood sugar. Okay. And you never know when you might meet a bright young child who wants a delicious candy. Would you like one? Sure. Don't eat it. Yeah, don't eat it. I love me some candy. Don't eat it yet. Don't eat it. Okay. Excellent. Eat up, my darling child. Get nice and fat. I don't trust the candy, but I'm going to give it to someone else. I'm going to give it to someone else. Um, uh, there may have been more to her story. Dang it! Let's just do it again. Let me just use the truth spray. Let me just use the truth spray. Does it work on witches? With all of these candies wrapped in foil, I can okay. open up the children of the sprawl. Oh! Then with these delicious magical apples, I'll put the fat little piggies to sleep and bake them into delicious pies. Oh! Oh yeah, you're not coming in. You're not coming in here. But well, I'm not gonna put you in jail. Maybe, maybe I should just deny. Don't put in jail. But my plans, my glorious, glorious plans, and my delicious. Oh my goodness! Pie. Yeah, I'm not putting her in you jail. You just have to take it somewhere else, sister. Yeah. All right. <gasps> but before I go, please, 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 don't leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'll share a secret with you. Wishing at. Oh, she's trying to get me at last minute. Yes. One bite and all. No, no, no. Come true. Would you like to take it? No, no, no. I already know what happens. No, thanks. I've got this thing. I already about know what happens. Food from strangers. Yeah. What a clever little girl you are. Goodbye. You tried it. You tried it. You tried it. Meat pies made out of kids. Well, that's a kinder surprise. You figured out her dastardly plan and did the right thing. Okay. Yeah, I knew she was evil in some way, but I was like, I didn't know what item to use, but we did it. What? Oh, this is the tree guy. <gasps> hey! Hey, scary tree monster! Guardsman who admitted scary tree monster in our previous encounter. Hey, how you doing? You got a medal now? I am here today to attend a meeting at your puny and horribly decorated oh. city hall. Oh wow, and you didn't have to say all that. So uh I was successful in my bid to represent the constituents oh. of Darkwood Forest on the outskirts of Kaladar. Nice, bro, I'm proud of you! Scary I am monster. proud of you! I went unopposed and threatened to stomp and swamp any who entered the race against me. It uh, was a landslide. You know what? I'm still proud of you. I'm still no proud of you. you ran unopposed. I wouldn't want to get stomped and or swamped either. Yeah? I can understand why nobody ran against you. Kid. Cool. Um, I mean... Let me just keep talking to you. In my new capacity as an elected official, okay. I've been in communication with Councilwoman Ash and Lieutenant Stryker. Okay. They each have plans to use my newfound political capital to achieve their goals. Oh. So many options for mere scary tree monster. You know, make sure you stay true to yourself. You're telling me that two of the royal advisors want a meeting with a tree monster mayor who won his campaign by threatening to stomp on any opposition? That is kind of swamp interesting. Swamp. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let me just let me just talk to you one more time. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. My precious time, tiny human gatekeeper. I should stomp and swamp you. I'm sorry. If this is the way the sport I'm sorry. is visiting dignitaries. I'm sorry. It is no wonder you have made such powerful enemies. I will go and lend my political and physical might uh, to their cause against you. Wait. <sighs> wait. Wait. <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that was going to happen if I kept talking. Yo, I didn't know that talking to him. I just wanted to learn more. I'm going to just let you in, bro, because I am not trying to get stomped and thwomped. I'm not trying to get a one star, bro. Man, there's so many different ways to lose. All right, have a great time. Oh, that's very nice to hear it. Okay. You know, I... I <sighs> Maybe he shouldn't have been let in. I know it would have been one star. Okay. 
Good call. Otherwise, he would have been stomped and thwomped. Yeah, I feel like he would have. Imagine if I tried putting him in jail, he would have stomped and thwomped me. What is that? Ew, 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 ew. Hmm. Uh, what can I do with zombies? Um, look, the only zombies we have around here are the old timey slow moving ones. Treat them like sheep, herd them around where you need them. They're relatively harmless. Can I ask you anything? Okay. Cool. Yeah, they sure seem like a bunch of zombies to me. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put y'all in jail. I want you to eat the guy that's in there. Yeah. That's what I want to happen. I want them to eat them all. Yeah. You'll be safe in jail until we yeah. figure out what to do with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro's, bro's knees broke out, bro. Yo, we gotta study them for a second. His whole knee popped backwards, okay? Neck all crooked, shoulder in front of him. His tongue's out like a dog. No teeth, no top teeth. Hair scraggly. Brain coming out like a worm out of an apple. No lower half. And body looking like a jellyfish. This is insane. Bye, zombies. Mm. Nice. These zombies will provide a welcome distraction for the other prisoners. The one other prisoner. Oh, the mole guy. Oh, hi. You must be Lil. Okay. I was told to come to these gates so that I could be looked after by you. Okay. <laughs> I'll be heading in now unless you need something else from me. Hmm. Hmm. What should I do with him? Let me use this. The sh okay, he has a shovel. What does your shovel do? Back in the old days, I would okay. have done most of the digging myself. You know, with my own claws. Now we have so much equipment available to us, it speeds hmm. our digs up exponentially. Okay. Should be able to get this project done mighty quickly with these tools. What project? What project? Oh, cool. A shovel. What you project? You really think it's cool? No, mole person. No, I don't. Keep your shovel. Aw. What project are you talking about? So, who told you to come see me? Yeah. Aw, oh, jeez. It's kind of a top okay, secret all project right. I'm working on. I don't think I should say much more about it. It's on the up and up, but I'm afraid it's also pretty hush hush. You know what will get it out of you? I already know what will get it out of you. Whoa. Yeah. And they sent you straight to me, eh? I already know what'll get it out of you. Sounds about right. I'm kind of the best guardsman on the force these days. A twelve year old being the best is crazy. That's not what I was told. Uh what were you told? I was told that you were trustworthy if a bit Well That's not important. I was told you were trustworthy. Huh. Interesting. I'm using the truth spray on you. Yeah. The GLA floated a plan to okay. a tunnel under the outer wall to access essential supplies from the outside. Okay. I'm here to get the project started. Okay. Oh, that's it? All right. Well, I, guess, I, guess, I mean, I guess he's trustworthy. I just wanted to know what, um, who, who talked about us. Maybe it's the leader of the GLA? I'll be off to take care of this top secret assignment. All right. Thanks, kid. I knew I was right to come to your gate. Cool. You heard the details of the tunnel plan. Finally coming to fruition. Remember the one we first told you about in level eight? Go you. Yeah. I don't remember. Who was that? Hello. Oh, that's scary. Holy Whoa. Are actually a nightmare come to life. Is that like Edward Scissorhands mixed with Jason and like... Is it the belt? And Freddy Krueger? What? No. Is it the knife and the hockey mask? What? And the knife glove. Yes. Yes. Are you sure it's not the belt? Because I have a big job interview today, and I don't want anything to ruin it. Uh. It's not the belt. Oh my goodness! I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. I don't know what to do. Uh. Uh. I don't think she's a monster. I think she's literally just a human. Yeah, I think she's literally just a human. I don't know what should I. So. What's your name? Um. Greaves. First oh. name, Stabitha. Stabitha! Wow, what a name! You're, 
your parents really did that one. Tabitha Greaves, terrifying figure of utter horror. Um, I do not have you on my list. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> they don't know I'm coming. Oh. And you said you had a job interview today in the sprawl? I'm scared. Well, not in the sprawl, okay. but cutting through would save me some travel time. I'm headed to the outdoor wilderness camp huh? at Lake Scream and Die. I'm applying huh? to be a camp counselor. <laughs> well, reapplying. Oh no. Oh no. Do you think you're, uh, you know, dressed appropriately to be a camp counselor? Oh no. It is the belt, isn't it? It's um, not the belt. I don't know what to do. Because I got it as a gift. And I'm only wearing it because I feel obligated. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we assume that anything I talk about in the future is 100% not belt related? <laughs> we can try. That's funny. What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? Can I confiscate? Dang it. I don't know what to do. I just don't think I should be letting her in. Should I just take all her stuff? Should I just take all her stuff? I mean, clearly there's metal on her. Just these here knife hands. Okay. This outfit doesn't really have pockets. Okay. What's with those? Yeah. Really practical. I mean, how are you going to like open doors, you know, wipe your bottom? Honestly, like. Honestly, no, but it looks scary. So it serves that purpose. Um. Never forget you have it on and go to scratch somewhere. Oh boy. Oh boy. All the time. Why do you think I'm wearing the mask? And what's worse is that it's allergy season. I mean... Oh, man. I feel like that she's... She could be harmless. You know what? I can't let you through. I can't. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. I feel like she said... She says she's cutting through. I just don't know if that's now, safe. Stabitha, promise you're not gonna murder I'm me. scared. I can't promise that, but I'm not going to let you in. Uh. <sighs> I understand. You're oh, no. You're doing your job. I guess I'm taking the long way to Lake Scream and Die. Okay, okay. If I don't get the job because I was running late. Oh, no. I'll come back and tell you all about it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. What have I done? I'm scared. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot I cut your phone line and didn't fix it. I hate to leave you vulnerable. That's very considerate of you, Stabitha. Yo. Sure you don't want to change your mind about letting me in? Yo. Yo, what if I said still no? No, I really don't think that I That actually let you scared in. me. Okay. I admire your Oh my conviction. goodness, how'd she even get in here? Okay. Thank you, Stabitha. Oh my goodness, that scared me. Yo, you bought a handful of horror well, of teenagers a few days before being cut apart by a deranged psycho corpse lady. Was there a way you could have saved them? Wait, should I have put her in jail? Maybe I should have put her in jail. Let's put her in jail. Let's do that again. Let's do, let's run that back real quick. I was just afraid because you know what the witch I put her in jail and then she was like, I'm killing you. So what if she was like, ah, yeah, you're not putting me in jail. Yeah, we're going to put you in jail. Yeah, hopefully. Please, please. Stab the Greaves, uh, you, you are hereby under arrest for the crime of wanting to kill a bunch of teenagers. Okay. I don't want to kill them. It's what? It's been my sole purpose, driven by demonic motivation since I was raised from the dead. What? Save it for the courts. So long, Stabitha. Whoa! <gasps> oh my goodness, did it again. Sorry. I forgot I cut your phone line and didn't fix it. Oh my goodness. I leave you vulnerable. Yeah, I'm, I'm not letting you in. Oh, I killed them. What? Anyways, guess I'm digging the long way to leg scream and die. What? If I don't get she the killed the guards? Because I was running late, I'll come back and tell you all about it. Oh, God. Yo. What have I done? Yo. Uh-oh. Half a dozen guards were brutally murdered. Oh my goodness. So wait, what is the way to stop her? 
Yo, I'm running out of time travel. Oh my goodness. Okay. Can I whip her? Whip her. Whip her. Uh oh. Whoa, what'd that do? Oh, what the heck was that? What'd that do? <gasps> that flash in your chest with all the weird writing. What? Oh, that old thing? That's a demonic hex that appeared over my heart the night that I died. It gives Yo. me the unnatural strength and endless stamina I need to hunt down camp counselors in the woods at night. Whoa, okay then. What's good on you? So wait, what, do I, what, what, what? So wait, what should I do then? Can I decode it? Oh! There's multiple steps to this! Did you just decode the hex on my heart without asking me? Sorry. Oh, I guess I did. I'm sorry. Sorry! That's a little presumptuous. I'm sorry. I don't have to read it if you don't want me to. No, no, go ahead. I'm curious what it says myself. Okay. It translates to... If this hex is read out loud, the cursed shall return to whence they came. Oh! Wait, on second thought, no! Yo! We did it! Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on? What? What? Hey, I remember you. How have things been? Oh my goodness. How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? What do we gotta stop this? How do we stop this? How do we stop this? Oh. Well, this has been one for the books. Oh, we turn into dust? Wow. 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 Yo. It's the way... I just was not expecting any of that. There may or may not be something strange going on in your general vicinity. Is this Ghostbusters? Who are you now? Yo! Ghost finders. Ghost finders. Okay. So wait, but there's no such thing as ghosts. Right? I can question both of them. Ghost finders? So what? You find ghosts? Hmm. That's right. Okay. People call us when they suspect some paranormal activity. Okay. We come in and we find out what's what. That's so funny. They look like just the just like the guys. Oh, that's cool, I guess. I always heard that ghosts don't exist. Uh huh. That is what all the experts say. Okay. And the scholars. And the historians. And just about everyone else around the sprawl. Okay. Are you sure they don't? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Um, hmm. But not 100%? I guess. Well, not 100. Boom. Ghost finders at your service. Alrighty. Who called you in, though? Who called you in? So should I x-ray them maybe? What should I do? Maybe I should use the truth spray on y'all. Let's see. What are y'all what are you gonna say? It's common knowledge that there's no such thing as ghosts, but people will pay a pretty penny to commune with their uh -huh. lost loved ones. If we provide a bit of comfort to So you're con men! Them, what's the harm? Con men, okay. Especially if they've happened to prepare a little dinner as well. Maybe some finger foods. Wow. A proper home-cooked meal these days, and typically there's some food to go around after a death. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're done. You guys are left. You're, you're, you're done. Bye. I don't know if we let in anybody today. Oh, we let in the tree. We let in the tree. Tree dude. I guess we'll have to take our yeah. request elsewhere. And remember, kid, if there's something strange... And it don't look good. Just go already. Yeah. Get out of here. Finders. Get out of here. Is that fine? All right. Um, are you 100% sure that ghosts don't exist? Uh, I don't really know what I could have done better there. So it's okay. Oh, it's the vampire guy again. <laughs> it is imperative that you invite me in. The sun is coming up. Bro, didn't you like turn a human into your wife? No. You again. You're the most blatant vampire I've ever seen. I'm not gonna invite you in. Also, stop putting it that way. It's creepy. It is. Uh, so rude. Are you sure you won't hear me out? Uh... Okay, I'll hear you After out. After our last interaction, you know, the one where you turned me away. Uh-huh. 
I met my lovely bride, Myrna. Okay. Who now waits for me with a group of our close friends and family to tie the knot in the Von Pyre crypt. Okay, Please what? Oh, you're gonna- Invite me in for eternal love. Oh, sake. you're gonna get married. Need more info. It just sounds so creepy when you ask me to invite you in. Yo, will he turn to there dust in front of me if I if I wait? To. Just give me more to work with, Heine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heinrich. Well, Lil, as you may or may not okay. know, in addition to being a vampire, yes, I said it. Yeah, we all I'm knew. I'm a chiropractor for creatures of the night. We feel pain, too. Good lumbar support is rare these days. So, if I just continue... Well, I wish to continue... Will he literally get community. burned by the sun? I wish to marry the love of my life, Mirna, and we hope to start a family together someday. Ah, sweet. How? Can vampires be dads? I want to see. I mean, I wasn't really looking to have the talk with you tonight. Yo. Heck, not what I meant. Okay, now I've heard I enough. Think I've got enough to go on now. All right. Finally, I can still make it. Cool. I guess we'll Don't make me regret this, Heinrich. I invite you into the sprawl to get creepy married. Is that fine? You have just completely redeemed yourself, Lil. Okay, okay. My love, I'm coming. So this is fine? I hope that was fine. Okay. That was pretty good! That was pretty decent. That was decent, that was decent. Cool. Uh, I mean... Yeah, mostly it was three stars and stuff. Cool. How come I didn't get a score rating for the vampire? That's interesting. Oh, hello, princess. Why is it sad? She has a different necklace on. Tacos? Let me guess. We're finally going to have the best friend taco party I've been dreaming about since level five. Yeah! Excuse me, what? You're not a part of this, Chuck. Yeah, d d get go away, too. Lil, I have something important to discuss with you. Uh-oh. Necklace? What's the story with the new bling? Yeah. It was a gift from Tyronius on behalf of the Mages Guild to keep me safe. I don't trust that. Tyronius has been giving me big yeah. guy energy since level one. Yeah. I ditch that amulet immediately. I love how she's talking and like breaking the fourth wall. That is for me to decide. What? Lil, I have something I need to tell you. What? Desi. I know we talked about this, but are you Wait, sure? what are you doing? You firing me? For us. I am not having this conversation again. What? It is entirely inappropriate what you've been put through. That is why tomorrow will be your last guard shift. What? But we're at war. What? I'm doing a good job, I think. I feel like I'm what? Little ways. I've been, I don't why know, is she mean all of a sudden, bro? So stern and strict. Desi, sure. She's a kid. And no, it's probably not fair. But she's what? proven she's more than meets the eye plenty of times. Okay. You were the reason I asked her to uncover the spy in the GLA. I don't know, bro. True as that may be, it's time she was relieved of her duty. Why, though? I'm confused. Where is all of this coming from? I thought we were, you know, friends. What? <laughs> friends? What? With you? Someone who has been acting in her own self-interest against the crown? What? Tyronius has told me the true nature of your character. Why are you trusting Tyronius? Tyronius? He's nuts. Excuse me? Really main villain energy. Why would you believe anything that creepy ghoul factory has to say? What? There's because no way. he accepted the role as my advisor. What? He's your fourth advisor? Fourth, and perhaps what? only, if the other three remain so utterly useless. Oh, no. You're going to fire Stryker? I mean, I get wow. Ken and Ash and Malcolm, but don't you think it's better to, you know, have multiple opinions when it comes to big decisions? Oh, no. Not anymore. And neither does Tyrone. What? He also thinks it is time for this little game to be over. I don't know, man. These don't sound like your words. Is she hypnotized? She's right, honey. They don't. Yeah. Listen to me. What? I have made my decision. Tomorrow will be your final shift. We will not what? suffer those who speak against the queen of the sprawl. What is going on? Mona, listen to yourself. I will not be spoken to like that by <gasps> a filthy... What? I'm sorry. I'm under so much pressure. 
She was gonna say filthy I goblin. Down. I don't feel quite like myself right now, Lil. What? I'm sorry, but it's almost time for the end. What's going on? Chuck, take me home. What is going on? Resist. This doesn't make any sense. Yeah. I've worked my yeah! ass off for you and the bloody sprawl. Not to mention the idiot triplet advisors. And now you're following that Tyronius advice? Fine. I quit. Hmm. You can't quit. You were already relieved of duty. Hmm. This sucks. It does suck. I'm sorry, Lil. I'll try to talk to her. Good night. Whatever. This is upsetting. This is so upsetting. Lil had foiled Brown Hild the moral morally questionable, to say the least, plan to fatten the children of the sprawl with candy and then bake them into pies. The witch left in a huff. She took a hard look at her scheme and really thought about why people were so often disgusted at the idea of eating pies made out of children. So she pivoted and created a line of vegan apple pies. After months of tweaking her recipe to perfection, she baked some of the most incredible pies you've ever tasted. She made the cover of the Sprawl Tattler newspaper and was declared best new restaurant and there was much rejoicing. Mayor Scary Tree Monster arrived at the Sprawl City Hall just as the other counselors were voting on a controversial new bill. A bill that included, amongst others, Things, plans to cut down his dark wood forest on the outskirts of Kaladar. There was no way Mayor, Mayor Scary Tree Monster was going to let them cut down his home. He immediately halted the vote and commenced with what witnesses called the most drawn out and confusing filibuster speech they had ever heard. Sure, Mayor, Mayor Scary Tree Monster didn't speak as slowly as some of his end cousins, but he knew how to take his time when he needed to. The filibuster worked, the vote was rejected, and the bill did not pass. This was the highlight of Mayor Scary Tree Monster's political career. No longer would the den denizens of the forest need to worry about the used darkwood forest lumber to build orphanages for the sick and injured children separated from their parents by the war and help them get their parents back, Bill. Not anymore. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was a good bill, though. The addition of, the, of this trio to the prison system was an unmitigated disaster. The slow-moving zombies were able to catch every single prisoner as there was literally nowhere for them to hide. A new prison had to be built to house living prisoners, as the original prison now catered exclusively to the living dead. With the arrival of Punk's uh, Polly, the build a secret tunnel to get supplies from the outside plan could officially get underway. The project was completed in record time with team leader Polly attributing some of its success to having had the opportunity to unpack and talk the secret plan on his way into the city. For the first time in months, substantial amounts of food made its way into the sprawl. Nice. Stabitha, decoding the hex on Stabitha's grieves heart, exercised the demon and freed her soul from its clutches. In death, she was finally at peace. Sabbath's former friends, the counselors from the outdoor wilderness camp at Lake Scream and Die, ended their summer contracts and went home. But they were plagued by the guilt they felt for their part in Sabbath's death. Could they really just go back to their normal lives after what they had done? One year later, they met back up at Lake Scream and Die. They were all starting to crack under the weight of their secret. In fact, assistant head of counselor Mitch Morrison suggested they all turn themselves in. He couldn't live with it anymore. He needed to tell the authorities what they had done last summer to assuage his guilty conscience, but the others didn't like his plan. They knew they couldn't let Mitch confess to their crimes. They had to silence him. With two murders now in their hand, the group of camp counselors went their separate ways once again, assured that their secret was safe for now. So basically, oh, the demon Lil had exercised from stab at the found a perfect new home in Mitch Morrison. The cycle continues. Oh, the ghost finders denied entry to the sprawl and missing their appointment with the queen. The ghost finders continued to scam the feeble minded especially being able to claim Queen Desdemona as a client. This gave their business a big boost, and they've been in high, very high demand ever since. To this day, they still have not seen a single ghost, but their merchandise is top-notch, as is their catchy theme song. Count Heinrich von Pia's wedding started beautifully until that pesky Van Helsing showed up and killed the obvious vampire just before sunrise, which would have been the most romantic part of the ceremony. He got killed? On the plus side, Myrna Hurricane was freed from the Count's curse and control and eventually rekindled a romance with her old fling, Jonathan. They got married and had a son named Quincy. They were a very boring family. The Sprawl lost one of its best chiropractors that night. Rest in peace, Heinrich. You were too beautiful for this world. That's tough. That is tough. Level 11, only two more levels, y'all. And the already spread thin guard forces calling it mm. the worst night of, and I quote, creepy they've ever seen on St. Swithin's Day. Yeah? And that's saying a lot. So if you see any of the few guards trying their darndest to keep things together inside uh -huh. our fair city walls, just go up and give them a hug because Poe Buddy's nerfect. Huh? I'm sorry, there appears to be a typo in that last statement. Yo, Poe Buddy's nerfing. 
crawl where we won't be playing any of today's top hit music. What? We will be keeping all frequencies clear in the event of an emergency broadcast. Okay. This is Dodger signing off alone because all of my animal co-hosts were turned into food rations. Oh no! Yo, no more the hog or the the rooster or the the pig the the, the, the duck. That is tough. Hey, a letter arrived from Dad. Hey, Dad. Please be alive. Please be alive. Dear Lil, I haven't received your last letter yet. Oh. I really could have used the pick-me-up. Things are getting really hectic here. I thought, what's his name? Mr. Fantastico is going to send it. Everyone is busy getting ready for the upcoming naval battle. Even though I okay. don't have any training at all, I'm getting stationed on one of the oh. attack boats on the front lines. Oh. Oh, no. He's getting on the f attack boats on the front lines? Oh, no. But don't worry. I overheard the admiral say that there may be a plan brewing oh my to goodness. unleash a ferocious sea monster. Okay. They can find one, but they'll have to make sure there aren't allies in the water when they do. Okay. So that sounds like a plan, right? Oh my goodness! I, I need really I need to lock in. in. Store for me. But oh, I'm, doing my I'm scared! I can't let him get dead. I can't we let him kill. I can't let him die. Right oh track. my goodness! Wish me luck. I think I'll need it this time. I'm scared. Love, Dad. I'm scared. I guess all the fighting has disrupted the postal service. Oh, the humanity! Oh my goodness! I need a. Why did Desdemona had to freaking fire me? Okay, hey Garby. I heard the news. This is your last shift down here at the shed. Hey. Yep. It sure is. I may not always get four stars, but I think I've been pulling my weight around here. Right? Right? Seems pretty weird to pull me off duty, just as everything seems to be at an all-time level of terrible. Yep. Speaking of things being terrible, let's make sure you're all stocked up for your shift. Thanks. Thanks for visiting me, bro. Man. Oh. Hmm. Um. Let's do that. And do that, I guess. Yeah. That's Are all. You sure you've got everything you need? I've got a big walk to the east gate ahead of me. Um, yeah. All done, thanks I guess. Thanks for everything, Garby. Yeah, thanks for everything, man. I feel... This sucks. This message is for Guardsman Lil. Hey, Lil, they're letting me add something to the writ. Isn't that neat? I just wanted to let you know that the Cyclops was the mole, and the GLA has been able to successfully do five missions without incident thanks to your help. Have a great last day. I'm sorry I couldn't convince Desi to keep you on longer, Chuck. Somebody left the door to the food reserves open last night and the enchanted ice melted away. Looking at you, Randy. Dang. Dang. We'll need to restock with fresh, non-rotten food. So please be on the lookout for that. Middle manager Mike Melroy. Attention, Randy's friends and colleagues. He is officially exiled from the sprawl. That is tough. He just got rehired, too. We've confirmed once again that the previous battle was won in large due to the state of the drafted soldier's equipment. It is your job to turn coal into diamonds. See if there's any way to improve the state of the drafted soldiers before signing them up. We have to put out a call for mercenaries to assist in our defenses. Sprawl treasury budget has been allocated for this initiative. Try not to overspend the queendom's money. If you get the best bang for our buck, it will be reflected in your star ranking. Uh, mercenaries to de assist our defenses. As a result of the Sprawl's mummies and daddies being turned into cannon fodder, I'm seeing lots of vagrant hooliganism from the feral and orphaned youth. Don't be taken in by the rosy cheeks and recently lost baby teeth smiles. Some of them are real stinkers. There's so much in the writ today. Uh, this is going to be a very busy last day. All right. We have a lot we can do. Okay. Okay. Let's fill that. Do that for the hooligans. That, the decoder ring, and that. Is that good? I feel like this is this is, this is decent. I don't think we're gonna need the decoder ring that much. I, like I don't really know what else we have to do with that. Let's do the yeah the X-ray. Cool. Hello. Oh hi, it's me, Kelly. I remember you from the wedding. Okay. You didn't want Monty. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can't blame you. If I didn't work there, I wouldn't want it either. Sorry about that. I've got a wagon full of food for my boss to help with the whole people dying of starvation thing. Okay, cool. Um, 
I didn't know Monty's was part of the war effort. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We have been slammed at Monty's lately. What with all the food rationing, we're running out of soup. Cool. I had to go all the way to the Monty's in Caladar to get supplies. Heck of a trek for a Cyclops in heels. <laughs> Hmm, is she is she telling the truth here? Anywhere closer you could have got food from? Hmm. No. The Monty's in Scarborough was burnt hmm. down and the Duchy was sacked, and the only other Monty's is in Fireball Canyon. Oh. But their food is all weird and pixelated. So Caladar it is. Okay, well I guess I can trust you. Um uh, okay, well I guess I'll let you in. I don't think there's anything I need to do with you. I think I think I do need to let in people with food. I think that's what I have to do. Gee, thanks, kid. Okay. I can't wait to get this into the kitchen and put my feet up. My dogs are barking, if you know what I mean. Doesn't that mean your Stay feet around. hurt? That means your feet hurt, right? I think. Oh. Car had bad food, but you didn't know because you didn't... <laughs> Do I care? Do I care? It's bad food, but it's still food. I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. What are you doing here, bro? Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. If it isn't the plucky little girl <laughs> well, well, well. who set me up with her pal, the princess, only to pull the wool over my eyes and ruin my wedding day. Mm. Yes, I remember you. Well. Aha! I don't care. What do you want? Personal feelings aside, I was sorry to hear that this dreadful mm. war has mm. all but ruined your precious kingdom. Much mm. in the same way that you ruined my precious wedding day. Bro, you didn't care about her. You didn't I care about you her. could even help us if you wanted to. Bertrard is no match for the might of the Marvog Empire. Mm. Reverse psychology, eh? <laughs> nice try, but there's no way that will work. Okay. That's sure. what Reader Cargan said, too. She mm. figured you'd be too dumb to understand what it was. Mm. She said that. Too dumb, eh? Hey, yo, I wait, is it gonna work? I the Marvog Empire myself. Is it gonna work? Oh, wow. By expertly using reverse psychology and turning their pride against them, they became a powerful agent for the sprawl? Right on? Okay. Wow. That was easy. Hail, Groundwalker. I am Marabella. Why are you walking on Hi, land? I'm Lil. Uh, anything else? Hmm. I don't know. I've never been above water before. You lead the way. Okay. Let's see. What do you have? What do you have? Let's, 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 let's. Hmm. Let's just see if you're telling the truth about things. Which, what, what do you, what you here for? As powerful as my people okay. are with their nets and tridents, I think okay. our most powerful weapon was our song. Okay. It could move the ocean itself, but we have lost it. So I need to figure out what their song is. Legend has it that our song has been sealed away somewhere secure, and mm. one day it will be recovered. But where or when that is remains a mystery to me. So we need the song. How do we get the song? Okay, what you doing here, Mary? I need, how do I get the song? I have an official message from the leaders of my people. Okay. <clears throat> this is an official notice that the Thalassocracy of... Of? Uh, what now? Thalassocracy. It's the word huh? used for an empire that is primarily made up of maritime or seaborne areas. She seems really sweet. Huh. Well, Maybe she's word, good. It? Okay. <clears throat> the Thalassocracy of Bubble Town is committed... Okay. Sorry. One more time. Bubble Town? Why are you interrupting her? Uh-huh. That's the name of my thalassocracy. Okay. Bubble Town. Got it. On you go. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> the thalassocracy of Bubble Town is committed to the defense of the sprawl. That's the end. Okay. That's wonderful okay. news. A new ally in our hour of need? Oh, thank you, good Mirabella of Bubble Town, hmm. for your message. They don't have a song, Are though. Are you a warlike people? Well, we don't hmm. like it, but we are quite good at it. We used to be a peaceful people, skilled more in song and art. But we lost our song many years ago, and now we know only war. Mm. Oh, that's rather sad. How can I help? I don't even know how I can help her. Malcolm? How can I help her? Oh, I love a song. Will she sing me a song? Can you sing? 
I wish I could. Legend has it that our song has been sealed away oh, from man. secure, and one day it will be recovered. But where or when that is remains a mystery to me. It's okay. In the show. It's in the show. Don't what? Kid, you cost me the chance for a fine bit of sing song. What shell? At least she can still fight, I guess. In the shell. What? What does that even mean? When in doubt, wanton destruction. Yeah. What? Oh no, my shell. What? Oh! That music! Oh! The song of my people! The lost song was trapped inside this oh. shell all along! Thank you! Thank you so much! Yo, I and was just- people of Bubble Town will sing their devastating war song once again. Yo, I literally was just guessing that we should call Malcolm. I was just guessing that we should call Malcolm. But you know what? It worked out! Hey, okay! Hopefully it, wor it works out! All right, Marabella, get in there and sing your heart out. You're All right. officially drafted. Cool. Thank you, Lil, and thank you for helping me find my song. Cool. And with that song in my heart, I will rip out the enemy's heart and feel their warm blood fall upon my scaled body. Cool. You do your thing, Marabella. You do you, Marabella. La, Marabella. All right. Who is this? This is the place. I got the call. I'm a mercenary. Mm -mm. Your move, kid. Okay, I know they said something about a mercenary. What'd they say about a mercenary? Oh, they put out a call for mercenaries to assist in our defenses. I need to get a... Oh, try not to overspend the queendom's money. I need to ask them. Okay, what's your deal? Yeah. The deal is simple, kid. Okay. You let me in, and I will jumpstart your city's though? defenses and give your leadership precious information about your enemies. But how much? Oh, cool. How much? Not so fast. You don't let me in. I'm taking the same info about the sprawl and selling it to the highest bidder. Oh. Okay. Come on in. Not so fast. It'll cost you. How much? How much? Well, that's up for negotiation. Okay. How do I know you're not going to take the money and run? Right? A Bangalorean always keeps Oh, the Bangalorean the Mandalorian! Oh, that's a goofy name. Grr, oh. 2,000 gold. 2,000's crazy. Wait. Who? Who? I'm going, I'm going to ask Ash how much money can we spend? How much money can we spend? A Bangalorean? Um, Bangaloreans hear much and speak little. This okay. must be in dire straits to be making this deal. Okay. Squeeze him. Use those negotiating tactics we've spent all those sessions honing. Okay. What sessions? What? Damn it, Travis! I huh? distinctly remember putting a memo on that idiot's desk to schedule sessions with you. Somebody's uh, fired again. Oh, that's tough. I'm sorry, Travis. So, what do I do? Huh? Step one, negotiate. Thank you for attending the session. Okay. Hey, can we ne negotiate this, bro? I don't think I can use the truth spray, so let's... Uh... Want to play hardball, do you? Okay, fine. 500 Well, that, that dropped a lot! Thank you for lowering the price. That's, that's perfect! Yeah, don't mention it. No, really. It means a lot. Nice! I said don't mention it. Uh, if people hear about this, I'll never make full price again. That negotiation was so My easy. My are sealed. All right. Cool. Well, hey, I'll just let you in, bro. That was that was easy. Two thousand to five hundred. That's crazy. Or I hope that was right. I'll assist your city with its defenses and provide enemy intel for the agreed upon price of five hundred gold. C cool. Here, take this contract to the castle. They'll settle up with you. Cool. A pleasure doing business with you, kid. I'm handling real business, bro. Is that good? Oh, nice. You got him for his lowest possible price. Cool. That's nice. Oh, what's up with you? Charmed to make your acquaintance, young gateminder. Okay. I am Gary Dolt, son of B and Brian Dolt. Okay. I wish to pass. Will you require anything else? Um. Gary, it's me, Lil, remember? Magnus the Magnificent. I don't remember of him. Of course. Pleasure to see you again, Lil. Now let me pass. I'm off to a meeting at the Mage's Guild. The Mage's Guild? Why? 
Why the Mage's Guild? You heard, but I'm well on my way to becoming a full-fledged mage. I don't like the Mages, bro. member of the guild. Hmm. Heading in right now to meet with my tutor, oh. Master Tyronius oh. Thanatos. He's not much for having a laugh, but I've learned so much from him. Okay. Doubt. I didn't know that you had any magical abilities at all. Didn't seem like you did last time we met anyway. Oh. Well, I'm just a late bloomer. Master okay. Tyronius has told me that I show great potential as a student mm. or apprentice, as we are called in the guild. I just don't trust this man, Tyronius. I don't even think Tyronius likes goblins. Let's see if I can. Hmm. Is there anything on you? Okay, nothing on you. All right. There is nothing I'm trying to All hide right. from you. And if I wanted to hide something, there's All no right. way you could possibly find it. Okay. How dare you search me without my express Whatever, permission. bro. You have no right, you pathetic smag. You're so... Never mind. Bro, you're disgusting, bro. I don't even think my I want to let you in. skills have flourished exponentially ever since my precious birthday present. Okay. Julian, that sweet smag... Huh? Simpleton gave me this. Give you what? I added the pure oh. power crystal to my wand. Oh! And now I can truly feel the magic coursing through my veins. Oh, 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 we're confiscating this. <laughs> Sorry, my it's mine is now. My power crystal. You tricked us into giving it to you. Tough. The tricksy little gate guard stole it from us. Us? Our power, our present. Um, you seem really precious about it. Oh, this is a this is a playoff of um Dobby from Harry Potter. Ah. Oh, wait, wait, don't kill me. You took away this darker, more powerful version of Gary the Goblin's new toy. He was getting too precious about it anyway. Ooh, I'm glad I did that. I'm glad I did that. Oh, hey, a pirate! Petey. Thar blows a hey. upstanding guardsman. Hey, what's up? Uh, upstanding guardsman. Uh. Okay. We'll take she looks so cool. Blast our way it's giving descendants. Survey barnacles are attacking the sprawls waterways. What's in your cart? Oh, so you're saying you'd like to be drafted? Aye, aye. That's a much more concise way to say it. Yar. Yar. What's in the what's in the cart? Ahoy there, landlubber. The name's Captain Jane Pigeon, and this here okay, is what's in the cart? feathered matey Pete. Though you can call him Petey if you're an old sea dog like me. Yar har. What har. if she's face what what if she's faking her her her, her pirate um accent? Okay, what's in the cart? Is this actually the way you speak or is this a bit? Let's see. Yar, tis a pirate tongue what fills me gob. Yar. Gar, gob, yar. Pirate tongue. Pirate tongue. Okay, really? cool. Because it sounds like a bit. Yeah, all right. It's a oh. bit. Oh, oh, it is. Eh? It's a character choice. Eh? Oh, it is a bit. So let's do an x ray on that. What is that? What is that? This is a standard keg of our IPA. Okay. It has lots of big, punchy hops and a refreshing okay. grapefruit note to help balance it out. Eh? Refreshing grapefruit. All he does is repeat what she says, bro. Oh, I took it. We call it grog, because, you know, pirates. Yar. <laughs> okay. Well. Well. Should I ask you anything else? Let me just ask you something. I just I don't know. Like, what what do you want? This pirate persona is really hard to keep up. Oh. And when the parents come to the ship with their kids for the birthday parties. Wait, what? Is she sometimes not... I look in the mirror and I don't know who is looking back at me. Is she even a pirate? Eh? Existential crisis. Eh? What should I do? That's exactly what it is, Peter. I don't know what to do. An existential crisis. Eh? Having one too. Eh? What? I don't know what to do. I'm gonna just let her in, and hopefully, hopefully, I didn't mess this up. Hopefully. Thank you. 
I will serve the seas of the sprawl with dignity and I'm passion. scared. The enemy will not get through. Because you can't you even reverse these ones. Drafting me today. You literally can't reverse these ones. Regret it. Okay. Hmm. Excuse me. <coughs> Hello. I'm here to join me family huh. in the refugee camp at the dock. Oh, he lost a leg. <coughs> Oh, Aw, that's so sad. Didn't Malcolm say not to trust them? Some of them are real stinkers. Don't get taken in. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna use this. I feel like he got something on him. Yeah, he got something on him. A uh, knife! Is that a knife you have on you? Oh, I yeah. know what you're talking about. Oh, boy. I scanned you and it shows you're carrying a oh, knife. Oh, shoot. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Yo, we can't trust this little oh, goblin kid. Broken. You're too young to be carrying a knife. Yeah. Mind your own business. Confiscate. Fire and I'll cut your f off. Whoa, that took a turn. Um. What's your name, little boy? Yo. My name's Teeny Tom McGoblin, on account of why I'm so teeny, and my last name's McGoblin. Okay. Me dad and mum and sisters already came through the gates. I was lagging behind on account of me bum leg. I don't trust you. Aw, what happened to your leg? It fell off. <gasps> oh, Our no. Are limbs supposed to, you know, stay attached? What? I'm too poor to have limbs that stay attached. Oh, no. I think I'm going to have to see some ID. Yeah. I'm too poor to have ID. Dang. Um. Dang it. What if I whipped him? What if I whipped him? I'm sorry. Ouch! Why? I'm so sorry. Why would you do that to me? I'm so. Well, cute. you threatened me. I don't know what I was thinking. That's Try it. Try it again, and I'll cut your. Off. Yo! Whoa, that took a turn. Okay, fine. What if I put you in jail? Yeah, let your parents find you in jail. Yeah! Yeah! Threaten me again, kid. I'm the Can one that, with the power. In jail for a long time. I'm the one with the power. Is this because I like to rob elderly people at knife point? Oh. Yes, 100%. That's the reason. Oh, wow. You, you don't know me. Over here stepping all up on me like a prison. Don't scare me. Yo! Bring it on. Whoa. You seem so harmless in your introduction. Yo, I just guessed with that one. Call the rules. Whoa. See you on the outside in five to ten. I'm going to get jacked on the inside. Yo, you could have robbed Miss Abernathy. You jailed the pint-sized sociopath and saved the octogenarians of the sprawl. They'll live to cheek pinch another day. I didn't even know he was doing that. I just guessed. Yo, what? Um, hi. Is this where to sign up for the draft? Yes, it is. Sure. Wonderful. Now, what is that? What do I do? What should I do? Would okay. Would you like to be drafted to fight in the war? Hmm. Oh, no. It's not for me. It's for him. He looks like a menace, low key. He looks like it'll bite your fingers off. For who? My pet fish, Dennis. Okay. Tease. Okay. No, Oops. no, I'm quite serious. So the fish okay. wants to fight? He looks like he, he wants to fight. fight. All right, and he is very good at it. I promise you. He's probably like a sea monster. He could transform, maybe. Okay. He really is quite a violent fish. Okay. Doubt? Yeah, but come on. He's a pet fish. Okay. He'll tear right through anyone or anything in his path. Hmm. I need the truth. I need the truth. Dennis here has gone 28 and 0 in oh, wow. the admittedly immoral and illegal underground Whoa. fish fights that happened down at the docks. Whoa, 28, 28 wins? Oh, at least they used to before they set up that refugee camp. He's okay. undefeated and shows no signs of slowing down. Is this a good thing then? I guess I could just let him in. 
I guess I could just let him in. I guess. I mean, I don't really see any problem with it. I haven't rejected anybody yet, though. I don't know. Oh, this might be the first battle we okay, lose. Okay, here's your paperwork. Welcome to the war effort. I'm scared. What if our dad dies? Not remember, it's for the fish. Got okay. It. The fish is in. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I really hope our dad doesn't. Die. Oh my goodness, I'm so scared. All right. Okay, that's decent. That was my last shift. That was my last shift. Cause I was fired. What? Why is this so quiet and dark and silent? Wait. Oh! Surprise! Hello? Is it my birthday? You should see the look on your dumb face. Is it my birthday? She looked like she was this close to peeing her pants. What? I was low key. I disagree. No. 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 Well, the surprise isn't even the surprise. Princess pee pants. Okay, this is Wait, why I don't like y'all. Shh. Don't spoil it. Okay. Okay, okay. Congrats on not having a job anymore. What? I'm glad to have you back. Finally. The party is that I don't have a job anymore? Yeah. Wait, there's a party for not having a job anymore? The un unemploy unemployment job? I mean, un unemployment party? Unemployment party's uh, yeah. crazy. Maybe later, though, okay? Maybe later? No, wow. I have to send him one now. Wow. It can wait. Enjoy your party. And your surprise is over there by the fire. All right. But first, I know you're just a kid, but I'll mix you up oh. any drink you'd like on the house to celebrate everything you've been doing. Oh. What'll it be? I will have uh, <laughs> milk. Coming right up. Yeah, let's have some, like, strawberry milk. Yeah. Chug it. Nice. Nice. What? I can't move. Magic lovers of the sprawl. Oh. You put your hands together oh. for the one, the only, the Edward, the great magician. Oh, he's back. Alakazoo, Alakazee. Oh, no. He's back. Bro. Bro, you need to, you need to stop. You need to stop. You need to stop. By the beard of Bertram Bartleby the Bloated, I appear. Bro. Edward, Wait. The official oh, you found magician. your glasses. It's the Edward, the great magician again. Again? Come out of retirement to play one more preteen birthday party. How old are you today, little girl? How old are you? Oh, wait, it's not her birthday. It's just a celebration of being unemployed. I actually picked up a few tricks from a true blue real deal mage I met. Oh? Lil I am small but nimble with a what? bushy tail. In trees I scamper, never to fail. A squirrel. I gather my food and store it with care. Do you know what animal I am? Do you dare? That's a riddle. That's right. A sparrow. Okay, you're dumb. You're dumb. Ta-da. Okay, cool. What? Sparrows don't have bushy tails. And since when do they scamper through trees? Okay. Okay, bro. When they're not flying, of course. Yeah, okay. You got me there, the Edward. Yeah. Do you have time for another? No, I'm good. Well, I'll be here with my second trick when you're ready. Yeah, I'm good, bro. <gasps> what? There she is, my little guardsman. Wait, so that is that why it was my final shift? Because my dad's back? He's alive! How? Dad? What are you doing here? Oh, I missed you so much. Uh, what is going on? What is going on? You stopped writing letters. I, I got worried something had happened to you. Ah! Uh, what could happen to me? I wasn't the one off fighting a war, remember? What is up with bro's hat? Yeah, but you get some pretty tough customers coming through mm. that gate. Sometimes if you try to whip them or even just talk to them in the wrong way, it's game over. Aw. Uh. I got worried. Um, so they let you leave the war because you were worried about your daughter? I mean, shouldn't you be fighting in an epic naval battle right about now? Oh no, the naval battle is going to fail, isn't it? No, they didn't. And yes, uh, I should be. Oh. But I couldn't stand being at war for a second longer. Yo, yo, I feel like they know I'm about to lose that naval battle. And they were like, you know what? We're not going to even I have them out there. pretty instrumental in winning a couple of battles out there. Uh-huh. I did some amazing things for a chubby middle-aged guy. I think all because I was thinking about you. Aw. Wanting to keep you safe. This is the best dad ever. 
happy. Things have been hard and weird and creepy, but I'm so glad you're here. Yeah, I feel e like I could even though you forced us to take you your job. Back. I'm glad you didn't die. I'm so glad you didn't die. I'm glad I didn't die too. Aw. I could die any day now. What are you doing here, Brant? Like, what are you doing here, Granny? This isn't about you, Mrs. Abernathy. Exactly. All right, Seamus. I'll be up to tuck you in soon. Okay. We can figure out what the rest of our lives will look like in the morning. Cool. Hug. This is so sweet. Uh, it's not fantastic this enough? This hat, it is not as fantastic as my previous hat. Mm. What? Really? Because I have to say, that's a pretty fantastic hat. I think so, too. You should have seen my previous hat. I really wonder what his hat is. My journey, it continues. That's real There's tough. There's no pleasing some people. I really feel like that he's never going to find the hat that he wants. Dang. So what is this last day going to be about then? Unfortunately, the food Kelly was hauling had spoiled and rotten from its long, unrefrigerated, unrefrigerated journey from Monty's in Kaladar. Refusing to spend more money on fresh supplies, Mon Monty threw the foul ingredients into a pot and created the new signature menu, Monty's Million Mile Minestrone. Everyone who ate it experienced intense gastrointestinal pain and explosive diarrhea. At the restaurant, it took a substantial bribe to the health inspector and a very large mop to clean up the mess. That's crazy. Kelly put in her two weeks notice and started looking for another job. She was tired of being indirectly responsible for poisoning so many people. You know, good for you, Kelly. Prince Phineas was insulted to hear that Prater Cargan thought he was too dumb to know what reverse psychology was. How dare she think something like that, he thought. He was going to have to make a think of a way to make good on his vows to defeat Marvel once and for all. But how exactly was it going to destroy the entire Mavra Empire? He started thinking this was going to be tough. Maybe too tough. He probably shouldn't even try to do it. But maybe that's why you should do it, to prove that it could be done. And he was just the man for the job. But if he could do it, anyone could, right? Maybe. Months of talking himself into and, sub and subsequently back out of doing battle with Marvra eventually drove F Prince Phineas mad. The people of Petrard staged a coup and demanded he step down as leader of Petrard. But maybe he should do the exact opposite of what they wanted, he thought. Maybe. What? The intelligence gained from the Bangalorean led to the evacuation of an outlying farming village before the enemy could attack, saving dozens of lives, a win for the sprawl in a season of losses. Using the money raised for providing this intel, the ba Bangalorean was able to commission the design of a personal jetpack. His budget was a mere 500 gold, so it was an absolute hack job, and it immediately exploded, severely burning his face. Thank goodness for the helmet he already possessed. Yeah. Without the pure, unrefined power crystal from Julian to increase his magical might, it didn't take long for Gary to fall out of favor with or even the awareness of the Dark Mages. According to his former mentor, Tyronius, Gary was just not freedom caucus material anymore. Wow, they were using him. After being unceremoniously dumped by the Dark Mages, Gary went back to his work with Julian at the GLA. It took quite a bit of work to deprogram Gary, but with tenacity and a bit of luck, Carl the Troll finally got through to him and shattered Tyronius' hold. However, to this day, Gary catches himself losing time and drift losing time and drifting off when the lights hit a power crystal just right, reminding him of the dreams of power and fire he once had during his time with the mages. Teeny Tom became the prince of prison. He crafted makeshift shivs and used them without prejudice to grow his reputation. He eventually joined a gang called the Little Rascals. It was easy to get members like Spanky and Buckwheat to accept him as the new leader, but there was a lot of pushback from the current leader Alfalfa and his handful of loyal followers. But they soon fell in line after Tom showed everyone how persuasive he could be with the chief. Let's just say they don't call him Alfalfa anymore. Oh. The McGoblin family couldn't afford Tom's bail, so the only reunion they ever had with their son was over the telephone and behind a thick layer of glass. That's tough. Please, please win. Uh-oh. 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 Oh! Oh, Marabella returned home to Bubble Town with the message we swim to battle. With their rediscovered battle song on their lips and in their hearts, Marabella and her tribe swam forth and fought valiantly alongside the Sprawls Armada. Captain Jane Pigeon and her pirates Red cons costumed brewery employees raised the sails of their good ship for Mentor and set off for adventure. Luckily, the captain had a good fortune of removing their signature IPA from the ship prior to departure, which led the pirates to soberly take down a few more enemy vessels than they would have had they been sauced. 
Dennis, the seven-time all-fish fighting champion, was released into the sprawl harbor with a loud plop. He had done... As he had done all his life, he attacked the first thing he saw with all the ferocity of a thoroughbred, sarcastic fringe head could muster. Unfortunately, the first thing in Dennis's path were the other drafted forces. By the time the enemy arrived in the harbor, Dennis was, Dennis was fast asleep in the empty harbor with a full belly and sense of accomplishment. What? Morning came and the waters of Sprawl Harbor finally calmed. The enemy ships had left the harbor, but not before laying waste to do the docks and the encampment that had sprung up there. War had caught up with the refugees once again. There were no survivors. I don't even know how I could have done that better. The destruction of the docks will have a massive impact not only on the Sprawl's military forces, but on its ability to receive essential supplies and food. A red sky shone brightly that morning, an ominous portent of doom. Yo. I messed up so bad, I, I just know I did. We have just received word oh, that no. the Sprawl forces have successfully pushed back the enemy. Oh. While some of the invading forces oh. still remain just well. outside of the Sprawl, okay, then. the remainder of the Marvagian detachment has been defeated or is retreating. Oh, probably because we While won like at least still, two battles. Soon to declare victory, things are finally trending in the right direction. Oh, that's good. Probably can't my goodness. Tell by my voice, but I am very happy. Nice. We will be keeping this channel clear for further updates. Cool. Well. We don't even have to work today. Well, that's great to hear. Yeah. Now things can finally start to get back to normal. Right? What what should I do? Just young girl things and just Oh, what? Be nice. Hey, He's you nice. Two. Welcome to my bedroom, Cecil. Did you okay. hear the news? We aren't going to be slaughtered by an invading army after all. Yeah, and I get to live my life Sorry as a, as a young kid. Choosing, but this is official business. I was sent by Queen Desdemona herself to retrieve the Chronometer 3000 device. Uh-oh. Lie. Never heard of it. Isn't it the little doohickey that zapped me that one time? Father? Oh, right. That. Father. Thanks, Dad. But I'm not just going to give it to you, Cecil. Mm. Dr. B gave it to me, and it's my job to protect Oh, no. It. This is where things are going to get crazy. Well, my instructions are to bring you with me to the war room if you don't comply. I'll fight tooth and nail. I'll bite you. Then it sounds like I'm coming with you, Cece. Mm. Don't call me that. I'm coming, too. Mm. I know you got fired, but does that mean I did, too? Should I be at work right now? You should go to work. Fine. Dad, suit up. Okay, come with us. What makes you think I've got a suit? Okay. Right. Let's go. Yeah. Fight with me, Dad. Oh, she she oh, looks mind controlled. She is your majesty, Lilith, the gate guard. She looks mind controlled. Yes, Lilith. I see you chose not to simply hand over the chronometer 3000 as requested. She sounds mind controlled. No, she did not. Stubborn as a mule gets it from her mother. And I'm her dad, Hamish. Hello, okay. Your Majesty. I'm here to inquire about getting my gate guard gig back. Okay. Silence. Whoa. Where's Chuck? Where's Chuck? Who? Who? The Golden Revolutionary is securely under lock what? and key on charges of treason against her Majesty. Her husband? That's crazy. What? That's enough. Lilith, the chronometer 3000, hand it over now. No. 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 I beg your pardon. I'm not handing it over. Doctor B entrusted me with the chronometer 3000 to test yeah. it out at the barchet. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure that only the right people would make it into the sprawl. Uh huh. A position you sullied with your own personal agenda and no longer hold. Uh -uh. You do not need the chronometer any longer. Tyronius does. No, no. I'm sorry. Does that mean there's an opening? Dad, please, not not now. How dare you interrupt Her Majesty, you useless, pathetic nobody guardsman. Whoa! Hey, now. So I am still a guardsman. Okay, bro. Enough of this. Guards, lock the doors. They are not leaving until they hand over the Chronometer 3000. Oh, this is ridiculous. Where's Dr. B? Nobody's doing anything with the chronometer until I hear from Dr. B. Yeah. Unfortunately, the good doctor is indisposed. How'd this guy even get in with there all this? There was a small mishap at the <gasps> dig site, and let's just say she fell to her death. What? What? You killed Dr. B? What? Well, she was hanging at the edge of that pit when I left her, so who can say? Whoa. Who can say indeed? <laughs> Ew, I never trusted you, you little Your Majesty, twerp. Are you hearing this? 
Desdemona snap out of it! Be is dead! She can't help you now, child. The Athanatos amulet of total wow. mental sublimation is among the oldest magic in the world, and its spell is not easily broken. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Only the power of true friendship can release the spell's hold. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't no, know what to do. Help me, my friend. I don't know what to do. What? I didn't know you two were friends. Oh, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> Give me the chronometer 3000 now or I'll kill you. What the? Why do you even want the chronometer anyway? The yeah. The Longbog are defeated. We won. What could you have done to get a better outcome? Right? The Sprawl needs an alliance with either of these two kings. Okay. If we combine our resources with one of these superpowers, okay. we will be able to promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization. And? An alliance will secure the economic prosperity of the Sprawl for generations to come. So what do you want to do? Reverse the decision for her to marry a goblin? Wait, did I get the boring economics lesson ending? What? What the kind of is this? How did I get- wait, how many endings are there? It's not boring, it's ingenious. How many endings are there? There are some really exciting ways the Sprawl's industrial development could blossom with either the scientific what? advancements of Petrard's energy sector- I, I don't want to hear all this industrial yapping. Industrial development? Blossoming? This oh my is goodness. the worst ending! Just go ahead and kill me. What other endings could I have gotten? This really is the worst boring- oh my goodness. Will. I feel like I'm dropping the ball as the adult in the room. Should I be interjecting more? Bro. Dad. Shh. Yo. At the very least, it will be exciting for the rich and powerful. Bro. Of course, we may have to exterminate a few non-human races here or there in order what, to fulfill bro? our true potential. Oh my goodness. There's the villain speech I was expecting. Okay. Once I have the chronometer, all I have oh. to do is go back in time. I knew he wanted to do that. Kill the leader of the Goblin Liberation Army before he can interrupt the wedding ceremony. I knew he wanted to do that. I can't let you do this. Yeah, I'm not letting you do this. You can't kill Chuck. He's my hero. Yeah, Chuck is a great guy. I thought I was your hero, you good for nothing <gasps> little worm. Uh -oh. Feel my wrath. Uh oh. Wait, Master. Uh oh. Don't. Oh no. Let wait, 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 wait. What are you doing? Tell Julian, I... You what? <gasps> no! Gary! No! Oh my goodness. Dad, let's get out of here. Bro, bro, he's gonna fry us. But the doors and the guards. I don't care. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but hold my hand. Oh my goodness. There it is. The chronometer 3000. Uh-oh. Give it to me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What? What? What's going on? Is it a bad ending? Don't tell me I got a bad ending. Don't tell me I got a bad ending. What <gasps> happened? No. Where am I? No. The palace. Oh, the wedding. But it's no. The same. Desdemona's going to marry Prater Cargan? No. And there's that Tyronius and he's got my chronometer. Yo. What is he going to do? I now Yo. pronounce you married. <gasps> you may now kiss. Yo. Oh my god. <gasps> no! Oh! no, 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 no. <gasps> what? I've been pin cushioned with arrows a few times in my day. <sighs> but this time they hit something important. Oh my think goodness. I've lived through a whole war only to die at a wedding. Lil, I'm sorry I failed you. There's no way. I love you, Lil. <clears throat> this is the this is the worst. Freaking Dad, this is the worst ending! Don't do this to me. This can't be happening. Dad, please. Oh come back. my goodness. Bro, he dead. Drat. Even without that infernal goblin interfering, things still escalate. Oh my this goodness. This won't do at all. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Off to another timeline with more favorable variables. Bro. Yo. Oh God, what? Dad, you're alive. Okay, so now he's having her marry. Now he's having her marry him. What? I'm unarrowed. What's going on? What? I don't have time to explain. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you. Oh my goodness. I've got no time for another tutorial. Okay. Go to Tyronius. What the freak? 
Okay, try not to get his attention, but go stand by that necromancer. Okay. Ooh, spooky. Whatever you say, kiddo. Okay. Okay. Select the Edward the official efficient if you need to advance to the next timeline. Yo, what should I do? What should I do? I talked to her. I only have a certain amount of time. Can I borrow your glasses? No. Okay then. Yo. What should I do? Can I leave? I can't. I'll go back. Hurry. Run. 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 Uh oh. Are you sure you want to advance to the next timeline? Yes. I now pronounce. Okay. This won't do. The war okay. is still going to happen. Off to another timeline. Okay. What should I do? What's going on? I don't have time to explain. What the? I'm sorry. I'm inconveniencing you. He's marrying her now. I've got no time for another tutorial. Okay. Go to the musician. Okay. Go check out the band. Okay. Whatever you say, kiddo. Okay, wait, what should I do? Let me talk to you. Okay. Yo, what in the world? Gary, you're still good in this timeline. What? How nice of you to say. Okay. I need your help. See that necromancer on okay. the altar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't until you pointed him out. How very strange. Okay. Well, he's protected by a force field. Do you have a spell Ooh. or something that could help me with that? Doesn't he have the I'm wand? I'm pretty new at this, but I should have something. I just okay. don't have enough mana stored up to cast it. But... What? Oh, I shouldn't say. What? Life and this death. This is a matter of life and death. Spill it. Come on. Okay, fine. But you didn't hear it from me. Oh. The ingredient in Monty's soup is narcotics oh. grade pixie dust. Oh. That's why everyone around here is so obsessed oh. with it. Oh, there's drugs in the soup. It's really not all that great. Oh. And? And okay. narcotics grade pixie dust is a favorite of students okay. at the Mages Guild because it gives them a major mana boost. Okay. Get me some soup and I should be able to execute the spell. Okay, I need to be fast. Get some soup, get some soup, get some soup, soup, soup. Hurry up with the soup. Get the soup! Hurry up, go! Thanks for- Go! If you don't run! Girl, if you don't run! I've got it! Okay. Eat that soup and do something. That's some good sh Okay, I'm okay, okay. I'm with mana now, baby! At least, I hope that's what I'm brimming with. Here goes nothing! Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on. Stop him, bro! Stop him! Okay. Should I talk to him now? What should I do? Now I've got you. Yeah! You meddlesome. Yeah, meddlesome I've got. Uh oh. Maggle. I should have done this long ago. Done what? Oh. I guess I got excited. I can't go one on one with him. Need some backup. Okay. Okay, okay, this is like a boss battle. What are we doing up here? I don't have time to explain. Okay, okay, okay. But when I give the signal, I'm gonna need you to fight somebody. Oh, yeah, yeah, No problem. I showed up pretty okay, drunk cool. and ready to go. Who am I fighting? See that necromancer? Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. That guy. All right. It's on. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So we need to go to the next timeline. Wait, can I... Can I still talk to... Is this... Is the goblin dude still he, in here? He's not here. We need to go to the next timeline. We need to go to the next timeline. Go to the next time... Go over here. Go to the next timeline. We need to go to the timeline that has... Um... This won't do. We need to go to the timeline that has the Monty soup and the goblin. 
Okay. Okay. Thanks for choosing. Now we're gonna go over here. Talk to him. We only have 40 seconds. Oh my goodness. Come on. I've got it. Okay. Cool. Okay. Do something. He's not powered up anymore. Give him the signal. Dad, beat him up. Okay. Don't talk to him yet. Can you go over here? Talk to dad. Talk, can you talk to dad? I can't, I can't walk down here. Can I, can I do it now? Now I've got you. Dad, give me a hand with this clown. Yeah! How's this for being a useless, pathetic nobody? Yeah! You continue to annoy me. Lightning! Uh-oh. Dang it. Whoa, um, unarmed, Hamish fell immediately to one of Tyronius' fatal spells. The mage then strangled Bill to death! I guess Dad can't take him down unarmed. Hmm, let's see if I can do something about that. Okay! I don't have time to explain, but I need to borrow your weapons. Can I? Not gonna happen. It's really important. Please! Why? Ballet. I wanna join the ballet! Oh. Well, in that case, take these. You'll need them. Oh. Thank you! Okay, Dad, take this! If you face Tyronius with Hamish, he'll be equipped with this weapon. Okay! Dad, now! How's this for being okay. a useless, pathetic nobody? Yeah, how's this? How you, you like them apples? To annoy me. Lightning! Wait. Don't even think about it. Yeah! Why? You yeah! Metal yeah! Now, Will, get the doohickey. Not before I go back one more time. What? No! No! There's no way. There's no way. Come on! Grab it! Oh. We got it? Yo. What's it gonna, what's it gonna go back to? Hello? Where's it gonna go back to? Lil. What? Lil! Okay. What, Dad? Oh! I just had the strangest. Wait a minute. Where am I? What happened? Wait, is this in the beginning when she had a dream? Do you want the long version or the short version? Um. Don't be cute. I remember we were back in time at the royal wedding. Tyronius had the chronometer. Okay. You distracted him and I grabbed for it and. What? And before I could even blink, we were right back where we started in the uh, room with the princess. Except Tyronius oh. wasn't there and you were unconscious. Oh. You've been in bed for a week. Oh, wow. You've been muttering some very strange stuff. Huh? A scary tree monster became a mayor? Ridiculous. Huh? Tyronius wasn't. There's oh, oh, someone oops. waiting to see you who might do a better job of filling you in than me. So, wait, what happened? Hello, Lil. What happened? Testimona, you're being mind controlled by Tyronius. You need to listen to me. It's really me. I'm not under Tyronius' spell anymore. Oh, thank God. No amulet. You're not wearing his amulet anymore. Did you know that it was allowing him to control your mind? Uh, no, I wasn't aware of that when he gave it to me. Why would she accept it from him, man? And that a spell could only be broken by true friendship. And then you started to break free because I was your true friend. So are we like besties now? Um, is that why it broke Again, free? I don't recall any of this. Uh, as far as I remember, he tried to grab the chronometer from you. Then in a flash of light, he was gone. Oh. There hasn't been a trace of him or the device since. Wait, wait, the chronometer's gone? Is there a chance he still has it? Is he back in time right now, messing things up even That's more? That's tough. That's crazy. It's doubtful. From what we understand from Dr. B's notes, once a chronometer has been synced to an individual's life Dr. Force, B's still dead! It's disastrous to anyone else who tries to meddle with it. Oh my goodness. So, Dr. No B? No way! She's really... Yes. Unfortunately, what? she remains dead. When you reappeared oh my the goodness! We lost the ability to go back and fix things, including the terrible things I may have said or done while under his control. That sucks! I'm so sorry. Can you ever forgive Is me? Is there a better ending I could have gotten? 
Of course I can. You were Dang. You? I can only imagine what it would have been like to be under that creep spell. Wow. Thank you, Lil. And can you that forgive sucks. me, your majesty, for forgetting to tell you how grateful we are, allowing me to return to my post, and for personally taking such good care of Lil this week? She took care of Lil? Of course, Hamish. But the sprawl is grateful to your daughter, Lil, for all she has sacrificed to save mm. it. But the war! Has it changed? Huh. Tyronius said that he was going back to kill Chuck True. and... Did he kill him? Chuck is alive and well, thanks to you. And our forces remain victorious. Nice, nice. Since our victory, a number of the mages that were loyal to Tyronius have disappeared into hiding. Okay. But a few of the good ones have come forward and revealed that many of their ranks were working against Tyronius in secret. Oh, that's good. And with the war won and Tyronius out of the way, they rallied together and declared Echo their new leader. Oh, nice! Him? What? That stoner? <laughs> he was the only logical choice, surprisingly. That's funny. So, what now? Yeah, because I don't have a job anymore. What do you mean, what now? Well, do you need me to unmask a goblin spy? Work the night shift? Harass any of your advisors? Yeah, I mean... Lil, don't you get it? Uh-huh. It's over. You don't have to do any of that anymore. Let oh. the grown-ups do their jobs. Oh. Besides, I don't want you to be a guardsman anymore. Wow. I'd like you to just be my friend. Oh, you're a that better friend than to me. you're a better friend than the other friend she has. So I, I, yeah, I prefer that. You're feeling up to it. I'll have the kitchen cook up some tacos. Finally, I've been waiting for that. Finally, I had tacos the other day, guys. It was so delicious. Talk about fancy friends. She seems nice. Ugh, I'd love to spend the day with you, but I've got a shift down at the guard shed. Ah, uh, you tough. can do whatever you want. Chill. Go play. Have that mm -hmm. childhood you keep talking about. Or, you know, join me for another shift. Wow. What? Why would I work a guard shift? Are you kidding? What? Did you not see what we just went through? Why did I do that? Me, a 12-year-old. Yeah. Even way too much responsibility. Almost destroying time yeah. and space. Why don't you do your own job? Whoa. Sake? Whoa. I'm going to have a f childhood whoa I didn't know I did not know she was gonna go and curse out her dad like that yo yo oh got the best ending your choices have led to the best ending without the burden of Tyronis oh! affecting her judgment Desdemona became a great kind and fair ruler to the sprawl oh Although the city was battered, it would not be broken, and her rule ushered in an unprecedented wow. era of prosperity wow. and innovation. I did not expect that. I thought I got a bad one. The queen and her royal consort, Chuck, made the brave choice to undergo couples counseling Aww. to work through the fallout from Desdemona's actions uh. while under Tyronius's control. Aw, couples After counseling. After a long absence from the public eye, the couple was spotted walking in the garden district, holding hands Aww, and laughing. That's so sweet. Soon after the Sprawl's victory, the Goblin Liberation Army was officially disbanded. Wow. It wasn't needed anymore. The Queen promoted a number of its leaders into positions in the wow. City Council and the Guard Corps, and barring a few minor incidents, a more tolerant version of the Sprawl seems to be blossoming. Nice. Oh, what's up with on them? On the final day of the war, a power-hungry Tyronius used the wicket on his three rival what? advisors. The wicket? Thankfully, he was confused by the contraption and accidentally denied them instead of sending them to the dungeon. Oh. Oh. He tried to send them to the dungeon? Ousted, they walked to the nearest tavern outside of the sprawl and began oh. to plot how to overthrow oh. Tyronius and save the queen. Oh, it wouldn't be necessary in the end, as they right. did their jobs for them right. again. Right, but the act of plotting over drinks really brought the trio together. Ah, sweet, I guess. Councilwoman Ash's power on the city council waned after the Sprawl's mm -hmm. victory. As a result of the newly appointed non-human council members, uh -huh. she received a number of reprimands for her outdated and offensive attitudes towards Ooh. goblins. 
She has been seen meeting with a number of wealthy and powerful merchant families oh. in recent days, but her full intentions are not yet clear. I don't know what that's about. Okay, Sky After Skyler. War, Lieutenant Striker. Striker. Tried to relax. She failed. Tough. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Malcolm disappeared. Oh. As did a not insignificant sum from the palace. Oh, treasury. he stole from the palace. That's crazy. Meanwhile, rumors out of Fireball Canyon tell of a new circus. A the bro most started a circus. He does look like a clown. Circus the world has ever seen. The rumors also tell of its charismatic ringleader and the fish he wears on his belt. How did I never notice that he wears a fish on his belt the whole time? Dr. Beatrix Aww. von Matterhorn's body was never recovered. That's so sad. Since her presumed death, Lil has been having the most Aww. vivid dreams of Dr. B, traveling through alternate versions of the sprawl. Aww. In these dreams, the lost scientist seems what? to be trying to tell her something. Is there going to be like a, a can never remember? I don't know, Lil like Guardsman too. Upon waking. Hmm. Lil and Hamish continue to live above the Twisted Sisters Tavern. Uh huh. They were able to purchase new furniture Aww. and a second outfit thanks to a nice. gift from the palace for Lil's role in saving. Finally, the world. wearing something other than the blue sweatshirt. Lil vowed to never set foot mm -hmm. in the guard shed again. All she wanted was a proper childhood. Yes. And to even sometimes throw rocks at. Yes, let's throw rocks. With that being said. A new goblin ball season is upon us, and Hamish has been trying to wear uh -uh, her. Uh -uh, we're done. He lives in hope that she's got at least one more shift in her. Please, absolutely not. This is the end, y'all. What about old Echo the Wanderer, you ask? Oh, uh, I wasn't wondering me. about you. I was not asking. I'll continue to chronicle the happenings of the sprawl. From the migration of the birds to the illegal fish fights down at the docks. Okay, yeah, I wasn't asking about you. Oh, so remember, when you get a snoot full of punch and peace blossom in your nose, huh? I'll be there. Okay. When you overorder pizza at your place of business and people are invited to take some home, I'll be there. Okay. And when the next calamity threatens the lives of the good people of the sprawl, I'll be there. All right, you know what? Valid. Hey! Look at us. We finished this game. I'm so happy we got another series down. I really, really, really fully enjoyed this game from the how you play it. Like, you know, it was giving papers, please, and stuff to the story, the humor. It was very, very well put together. The voice acting, the script, everything was very, 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 very well put together. I love this game. It's such a gem out there that I feel like it's, it doesn't get hyped up enough. Like all these games that I never really hear about. And you know, there's the popular games that are on YouTube and stuff and you go and play those ones, but there's these, these ones that you don't really see as much that are actually really cool and they don't get promoted. So, you know, I'm really glad that I found this game. It's really cool, really fun. And yeah, I would be interested in playing a, a second version, like, you know, a sequel, if they did release that. It kind of sounds like that they're planning one. Ah, uh, we gotta, we gotta just do one more, one more before we go. Huh. Yeah, we just finished. You know, I was in this. Uh, yeah, I got the best ending. Yeah, yeah. The princess, she is my friend now. Uh, I'm about to go and shake her hand, not bow. Uh, is that disrespect? I'm about to go. I'm talking English dialect. Ah, uh -huh. I kind of ate that. I kind of, I kind of ate that. I'm about to, uh, I, I messed up. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this series. Don't forget to like and subscribe or join the squad. Follow my Snapchat, follow my Instagram, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.